Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here, and Halloween Ends is finally out. It is the final chapter in this continuity of Halloween films. Does it work as a successful final chapter? Or was it a big letdown, a waste of time? Let's find out in this episode of Hack the Movies. I want to thank Jamie Lee Curtis for all she's done for the Halloween franchise and for coming back and giving us this amazing trilogy. Man, that Jamie Lee Curtis video is very emotional. It's very emotional. I made her cry along with other fans, but she started crying as soon as I popped up on screen. Uh, that was really cool to be a part of. I don't know if you saw that. I will link below to where you can watch the full video. My good friend Jimmy Champagne, big Halloween fan, he got me involved in it. And I thought it was awesome. It was really, really cool. Way cooler than having a sign at a wrestling show. I think we could all agree it's cooler than having a sign at a wrestling show. No. No. I am how, so, how I'm jealous actually are you? Jealous. I'm how actually jealous. How jealous. I'm really fucking jealous. How do you think I felt at the fucking Royal Rumble? What was oh, the, I mean, it happened twice. Don't get me wrong. What, what, what like, was the other one? SummerSlam? Yes. The two, and Royal Rumble two out of the four big ones. Yeah. I mean, that was great. I better get fucking one at Survivor no. Series or WrestleMania. I'm going to. Mm. No. Anyway. Um, yes, I was very, very jealous when I saw that. I was like, fuck, why did I? Ah, yes. No. So that was really fuck cool you. to be involved in. You're not even that. a real final girl. Huh? You're not even a real final girl. You're not a scream queen. You're nothing. <laughs> You're nothing. <laughs> uh, and look, look, look. Just because I was in a video that was commissioned by Universal, it's not going to color my viewing of this film. I'm going to remain fair and balanced, okay? You are, yes, yes, you are Tony the Fair. Yes, yes, and, uh, you know, we're going to go into it, but let me just, just say, mm -hmm. this is the best Halloween film I've ever seen. What a great job they did. Kudos to Universal. Did you know I love going to their theme parks? Universal has amazing theme parks. You should go this time of year around Halloween Horror Nights. You're the worst. You're like the someone, worst. Someone clip that and send it to them. No. Someone clip it and send it to no. them. Anyway. I actually do love Universal. I'm not going to lie. Like, I know, Universal I really theme wanted, park. I really wanted to go this year. I, when I went on my senior trip, I actually preferred Universal over Disney. Same. And they had the entire thing of the special effects with the monsters, the whole video. Yeah. I was the, I was the only one. Of, everyone else is like, on I was like, I think you told oh, this I story before. Monsters. I don't fucking know what I did <laughs> earlier today, Tony. The only way to find out if you told that story before is to watch every single episode of God the show. God bless your soul if you do that. <laughs> Holy shit. It might have been the best John Carpenter episode really? because they show clips from The Thing or The Thing episode, The Thing prequel episode. I think it was one of those two. Oh. But anyway. Well, you remember that. I don't um, know what the fuck I say. Halloween, yeah. Halloween ends is out. Did you really think it was the best Halloween film, Tony? Well, we'll get into it. We'll okay. get it. I just did that. Just since I'm, on, since I'm on Universal's radar, I might as well say You're it's totally on their radar. You know, Tony. people accuse reviewers on the internet of taking money from the studio to give them good reviews. And I always say that's not true because I would 100% do that and it's never been offered. I mean, I don't blame you for that, to be honest. Like, hey, <laughs> you fucking give me money, I'll fucking say anything. <laughs> anything. If Sony gave us money, we would have been like, seeing Morbius in IMAX was the ultimate experience. I will literally say <laughs> Morbius was great if someone gave me money. It would have to be a decent amount, <laughs> but I would actually say, like, you know. So, this film is out now. It's the end of this trilogy, which is technically fourth overall, if you can't factor in the uh, original one. Yes. Uh, we've spoke to death about 2018 in the best Halloween 2 episode, and I mm -hmm. talked about it on James's show years ago. We did Halloween Kills last year. Uh, and if you're still not caught up, I have a Halloween Kills commentary track with Cecil Trachenberg from Good Bad Flicks. Okay. How did you watch this on Peacock? I did watch this on Peacock. I was I going. I'm so happy I did. I was going to watch it on Peacock. I was on Movie Dumpster's channel. We did Halloween Resurrection. Oh, movie the original Halloween ends, if you ask me. Uh, and I bragged about how I was going to watch it on Peacock. And then I told Casey that. And she said, no, you have to see it in theaters. And I went, God damn it. So we went to see it in theaters. It was it was a fun experience. I'm curious on what her view is on it, too. Did she say what she thought? I'm sure she'll post about it. Ooh, I don't want to speak for her. I'll talk to her. I'll be like, oh, Casey, what's up? What you think, girl? I like Casey. Um, yes. So, 
People are very divided on this one. Yeah. People are very... I'm happy I didn't pay to watch it. I would definitely <laughs> see that. Other than paying for Peacock itself, but... Yeah, I don't think I got any commercials. Yeah, I didn't get any commercials no. when watching it. Do you have, do you have Peacock Premium? Cool. No. I don't remember commercials watching it. I feel like with Peacock Premium, you don't get commercials. And then you get live WWE But I definitely shows. don't have Premium. No, I don't know then. I got the premium because of the WWE. Uh, but this... Oh, good. You can watch more signs of me. Great, guys. So this film, th there, there's a trend going on with trilogies right now. Especially yeah. trilogies that are a follow-up to an older film. Okay, yeah. okay. Just I brought an example here. Okay. Okay, okay. First, you start with the safe one. Okay, introduces some new ideas, but plays it safe. Gives you what you want. Gives you a lot of fan service. Uh, in the end, it's unnecessary, but it's not a horrible addition. You're like, okay, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Okay. Could end there, but of course they're going to make a sequel, so I'll see where they go. Great. Uh, oh, for the podcast listeners, I'm holding up a copy of Jurassic World. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Hey, podcast listeners. And then you get the follow-up where it's like, well, we can't do the same thing again. So they try something new, and it really divides the fan base and mm -hmm. confuses some casual viewers. But then other people are like, I actually kind of like that they did something different. I wish they did something different earlier in the franchise. Uh, kind of sucks they waited till now. And they get a little goofy and fans argue over it and whatnot, whatnot. And then it leads to a overly convoluted third act that tries to please everyone. But ultimately, sucks. it's just it, it either goes from like mediocre to OK and Usually sometimes there should not have been made and, and sometimes uh it's the worst and now that was yeah. the that was my example of the jurassic world trilogy uh which i have uh -huh. a whole uh episode on can you think of any other modern trilogies that might have started off safe divided the fan base and ended in disaster oh there's so fucking many of them every trilogy that ever really existed Watch our worst Star Wars episode. <laughs> That's the ultimate example. Woof, you are so true on so, that. So, of course. I, would say, I don't know. Is there a good trilogy, really? I know that there's a couple, and I can't think of it off the top of my head, but the I Lord know of the there's. Rings. <laughs> there has to be a good. There's a good trilogy. Oh, the there's Dark Knight trilogy. The third one was the strongest one. But anyway. So, yeah, 2018 played it safe. It was yeah. interesting. It was fun. It played it safe. That's okay. Halloween kills. Got a little goofy, it. introduced a lot of weird things. Oh, what the fuck? Did not like it. The the town being an angry mob and all that stuff. And, and that but a I lot would, of people were split. I've grown to really like it. <laughs> I would watch it in the background. If it was on, I would probably actually turn it's it It's a on. fun background movie. Yeah, exactly. I've, I've grown to be like, so that's like the really good sequel, the classy sequel. It's one and done. It's great. This feels like they were just having fun, like parodying how ridiculous some of the sequels get. I can go with that if it's like more of a parody kind yeah. of feel. But now we get to the third one. And I feel like this is the movie they wanted to make because they originally only wanted to do two movies and then you they had to do three. this is the one they wanted to do? Yes. I feel like this is the one they wanted to do, but then they found out that they had to do two instead of one more. So then they pumped out Halloween Kills and they probably split up a lot of their story ideas. Uh, obviously they probably there was had to definitely a split on story. Are you <laughs> fucking kidding me? There was two stories happening and they're, I feel like they were just like, Hey, let's fucking put yeah. both together. Even though it's weird. Yeah. Yeah. I I well, well, we're going to get into it, but first I just want to say, uh, this movie brought back a lot of bad memories of previous Halloweens. Have I ever told you about the secret evil sister I didn't know I had? Yeah, you did, you did, you did, you did, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I you did? Don't, yeah, you don't You don't have to say it again. You it's sure okay. you don't want to yeah, hear no, the... No, no, thank you. You no, sure you don't want to hear no, the long... No, thank you, no, no, thank you, no, thank you, no, 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 we're okay, that's... No, have no, I told that no, story you, before? I, you definitely told that story, and I'm pretty sure it's way more rememberable <laughs> than my uh, universal story, because you didn't shut the fuck up! Please, stop! Ha do no, you, Crystal. No, Crystal, no. have I been getting angry comments for over a year for Just a bit? Just kind of, sort of. For a bit that, yeah, yeah kind of, sort of. Let's not go down that route. Please don't go down that route. Hold on. Please, literally I yesterday. Another episode with us. <laughs> literally yesterday, there was a comment on the video that went, the review starts at 27 minutes. <laughs> I'm like, wow, a year later, they're still angry. I would be, I, I am still also angry and I was physically here. I am happy they share my pain. So, so no, shut the fuck up. If you're a person with a penis like myself and you're looking for a service to help you have longer lasting and harder erections, then Blue Chew is the thing for you. 
Once you subscribe, you can order everything online. The request gets processed by a real licensed medical provider and it gets delivered right to your door. You can even unsubscribe whenever you want. You're probably saying that's a hard pill to swallow, but you'd be wrong. They're not pills, they're chewable tablets. Each tablet comes in individual packaging. Take it with you on the go, and when that mood strikes, pop that package open and start the chewing to get to the doing. Every time I match with someone on a dating app, I pop a blue chew right away so I'm good to go. I get nice and dressed up, I sit there, I'm fully aroused, and then it turns out the person I was talking to was actually a bot. <sighs> But if it had been an actual human being, they would have gotten the ride of their life. Blue Chew uses the same active ingredient as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but is much more cheaper. Blue Chew is only available at BlueChew.com. Order your chewable tablets today and get the first month free with promo code HACK. Or simply click the link in the description so you could start to chew it and do it. So the movie starts off with a new Blumhouse logo. It's a really nice logo. It's got Michael Myers, the stupid insidious demons in it, people from The Purge. And as I watched the logo, I was like, I don't think I've seen a lot of these movies. The Purge isn't horrible. They just made so many of them and it's the same idea over and isn't over. Isn't there like a TV show too? Is there? Probably. God, there's I wouldn't a lot. be surprised. But I mean, who doesn't like just people like, just, I mean, it's not a bad idea and it is something you can constantly watch. Comes from a Star Trek episode. Oh, yeah, the idea. I remember when the trailer came out. I'm like, that's a plot of an old Star Trek episode. Uh, but yeah, Star Trek. so the titles open and uh, we find out throughout this film that Haddonfield is the only town that cares about their local DJ. The only small town who still cares about their they local DJ. They care a little too much and everyone listens to the small so town. The, what's the last time you like, I listen to the radio when I don't have like my phone synced up or I, a CD. I used to listen to the radio a lot. But it was always like certain. It was like alternative rock music. Yeah. But now I'm just like, I don't, I'd rather like, just I don't play even, Spotify. I just, I recently like we, stopped. We live near like a big city. So we have some big DJs, but they're a, a holdover from when radio was still big. Yeah. I get New York and Philly yeah. because I'm right in the middle. And I love listening to each one once yeah. in a while, but most of the time, or I could just put it on iHeartRadio yeah. so I can get anything. But I hate commercials. Yeah. I just rather listen to Spotify. I'd rather listen to stuff. I have I... Amazon Music. Yeah. I no. listen to a lot of John Carpenter on Amazon Music. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. So yeah, this DJ is uh, playing all the weird Halloween hits. Um, and then we get invited. He we... talks too much. He, he talks does. so much. Well. And he doesn't really sound like he has. Get... He does the straight up the uh, call in and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like maybe years ago it would have hit. Mm. Not right now. The, Do a podcast. Do I try heard, a podcast. I heard Danny McBride wanted to be an actual character in this. And I really wish he was the DJ guy. That would have been cool. He's one of the DJs in Grand Theft Auto Five. Yeah. So that would have been pretty that funny. That would have been cool. Plus it would remind me of his narration in uh, Eastbound and Down. So the movie opens up with a family that's waiting for a babysitter to show up. Uh, and the babysitter is Corey Cunningham. Does okay. that does that sound familiar? Is he dressed familiar? Does he not look like Arnie Cunningham from John Carpenter's Christine? It was very uh, this it, movie it just, is if you told me that they had a script for the remake of Christine and they were like, "Hey, if we swap out the car with something else, we can make this a Halloween film." I'd believe you. Uh so this movie really is tributing like a bunch of John Carpenter snuff stuff, not sure. just Halloween. Corey's wearing the same blue jacket that Arnie wore. Yeah. So that one's a little on the nose. But yeah, he has to babysit a kid. Because why isn't there a babysitter? I mean, I do like the fact that they're bringing that back about yeah. the babysitter and the kid no. is going. Oh, this like, is 2019, by the way. Yeah, this, this is 2019. 2019. The, uh, the kid's like talking about Michael Myers and saying, yeah. oh, yeah, you know, he only kills babies. Like the. Corey's trying to scare him. He's like, well, he only kills babysitters. And yeah. then all of a sudden that freaks Corey out. Like he knew that. That would be pretty creepy. You don't want to be reminded of it. There's a million ways he could die. You don't want to be reminded. But remind he's literally talking about Michael Myers trying to scare the kid. Yeah. yeah. They're also watching the thing. John Carpenter. I did the see thing. that. I thought that was which, actually kind of cool. Which like, is a Whoa. funny reference to the original where they're watching the original thing, but yes. we beat him to it. In our Halloween in five minutes, when uh, Lori's talking to Tommy. Yeah. 
we muffled the audio, so you can't really tell. Oh, We're playing fuck. audio from John Carpenter's The Thing. That. We played it really low and muffled the hell out of it, but that is the audio that's <gasps> playing underneath I to make it that. seem like they were watching The Thing. I didn't know that. That's um, cool. Yeah, Joe threw that in. I muffled it up just a little bit more. Joe's but brilliant. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, so he's got to watch this kid. This kid disappears. And this is a very suspenseful opening. This kid's a fucking piece of shit. This kid, kid. does suck. This, this kid, kid fucking sucks. This kid really sucks. sucks. Like, as, like, the mom and dad are leaving, like, he's just loud. For a second there, I was actually had to watch this in a hotel. Mm. And I thought it was kids outside my room. For I mean, there was a lot of kids outside my room, which were driving me fucking yeah. crazy. But I thought it was another kid outside the room because I was like, oh, thank God, peace and quiet. And you hear in the background the kid. And I was like... That's too obnoxious to be in the movie. It has to be outside my room. And then you realize it's the kid in the movie. I was like, what the fuck? Mm. Like this, no, yeah. this little fucking demon child. That kid's annoying. But yeah, you get the idea since Michael was never caught. You get the idea that Michael's in the house. Yeah, the door is open. The door is yeah. open. Lights knocked down. The the blade that he was using to cut his cake is suddenly on the stairs. Uh, and he hears the kid screaming. He goes to check on the kid. Turns out it's a prank. The yeah. kid is pranking him, locking him in the cl in the closet. Uh, Corey's freaked out because mm -hmm. of Michael Myers. He's scared yep. of Michael Myers. Uh, and have, like the worst coincidence ever, the the mom and dad come home as what? they hear him going, I'm going to kill you. And then he kicks the door open and knocks the kid, the kid off. off. I fucking laughed. I'm sorry. That's the I thing. fucking laughed So I that. think, I think they were trying to go for like, uh, like a, like a horrifying hereditary sort of thing. Like when Tony Collette finds her daughter dead and it cuts to the, you, know, you don't think that girl's going to die. And then the mom's screaming. I think they wanted that kind of feeling. Instead, everyone, like everyone I know is just laughing at it. Cause it's like, yeah, ah. yeah. just you kick the door. The kid just goes flying. I was like, <laughs> what the fuck? I like how the kid like just randomly has to be outside the door. Yeah. Has to be hard. You hmm. really have to be in the right space. Spot for the door yeah. to hit you and you fly off the rail. How does that happen? Wait, did he, he break probably through the railing or did he fly over? He didn't break through. I don't know if he broke. He might have been sitting on the railing. No, fuck. Then I don't think the, the door then wouldn't hit him if he was sitting on the railing. Well, look. How the fuck did he get over the railing if it didn't hit him? You know through? what? If we want to split hairs, the original Halloween, Michael gets shot and then he I turns do, yes. facing the balcony and then it cuts and suddenly he's behind the I, balcony no. and then he actually steps up onto the balcony to fall off. How many? So, how long ago was that movie? I can give it back. <laughs> but uh, I would think people would be a little bit smarter and be like, oh wait. Because you would think, okay, but there has to be enough room for all of a sudden you hit and it, like. Yeah. Well, whatever, he's dead. What? Yeah, oh yeah, that kid is dead. And then it cuts to and our he's also holding the freaking knife <laughs> yeah. as he's going over because he found the knife on the steps he's holding over looking at yeah. the kid. Uh, it was an accident. Um, the mom screaming cuts to the uh, opening credits. We get more pumpkins. I love that this series brought back the pumpkin. I do too. Opening. Did you appreciate the Halloween three font? Oh, I didn't realize that's what. Yeah, that the blue was. Halloween three it font. Was. I didn't. Yeah. That didn't click because I was like, how did you know? How did that I, not that click just with you? didn't click. I was really tired. Also, so much this <laughs> when I was really tired. That did just. I, I didn't realize that Halloween Kills had the Halloween two font. Until it until it was pointed out, because someone did like so. Twenty eighteen has the original font two. Oh, look at kills that! Kills has two, creative. and then three. I yeah, yeah. I uh, but this time, so that. before it was the pumpkin rebuilding itself, then the pumpkins on fire. This is pumpkins coming out of pumpkins. I liked that. One of them was the traditional pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. And then at the end, like it was a normal it splits, pumpkin, and it yeah. splits, and all kind of like Halloween two when it split. Could... I actually um, like that. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, we get Halloween ends there. We find out Michael has a, had this caused mass hysteria in the town. Uh, he went into hiding, but people think he might still be out there. Uh, whatever he did has probably driven other people to murder because yeah. we find a couple that was shot to death. And that's what it was. Yeah, everyone's yeah. just really, really. Did um, you did crazy. you know who committed suicide in the beginning? The lady who committed suicide? No. That was the mom of the kid who got killed on the railing. Remember she found his body and kills in the hospital? Yeah. And she was wearing his costume he wore when he so she must have been so, oh, either either Oh, I love that. Either Michael killed her and as a sick joke dressed her up I don't or think she, she was killing or any, she killed yeah, herself. She, it was her killing herself because he wasn't known for killing anyone else after that. Well, no one that they know of. That they, exactly. Because someone someone mentioned something a little bit into the movie. Uh, but, but that's he, the idea. Like he has, like he, what he did in 2018 killing. was so drastic. Like it's everyone is just super paranoid. Yeah, everyone is 
just fucking lost yeah. their fucking goddamn so marbles. So maybe he's killing people, but it's not think... to the scale that he did before. I don't think. I don't. Or I he's just re- well, like, goes... like I said, twenty nineteen. He was like, you know no, what? Because even later in the movie, it it makes me think that he didn't do any of that. Well, well, twenty nineteen. You know, he was probably like last year was a bit much. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a break. And then, of course, 2020, COVID. Yeah, he could have got darn COVID. 20, well, he had a mask on. 2021, yeah, 2021 they were like, you do Halloween. at this point. 2021, they were like, you can do Halloween if you're, like, boosted. And he's like. I didn't even get the vaccine. He was an anti he was on, he, an anti-vaccine. He was on Twitter, and he's like, yeah. I've heard things. I've heard things. Yeah, he didn't. <laughs> Allison works at a hospital now, and she doesn't want to go to her Halloween party. I like that Lori, uh, instead of becoming crazier like usual, she's just like, you know what? I gotta live my life. I like that. I like that you, she's you, like you see her writing because she's she's know. like, look, I I was an alcoholic. I slept around. I I was Good like a her. doomsday prepper. I did all of this, and what did it amount to? My son in law, and my daughter are dead. Yeah, she's like, yes. Like, I like move on. she's just like, I can't do that again. So I'm just gonna like live out my life. If I die, whatever. Yeah. At this point, yeah. I'm actually very confused in the movie because I'm like, what the fuck did that first scene have to do with anything? So right now, I'm yeah. like, as I'm watching this, I'm like. Well, what the fuck is happening? Well, that yeah, that, that, that's going to be not an issue for me, but I feel like a lot of issues for fans. Uh, everyone hates Corey because everyone they, they blame Corey. him for killing the kid, even though it was an accident. Um, but the mom's probably going around town. Uh, yeah, the mom's uh, fucking psychotic. Well, the dead kid's mom, the, not his mom. No, his mom's fucking psychotic. Too. Oh, no, I've got multiple notes about her. They're all, all everyone is fucking psychotic. In Michael movie. Myers has Literally ruined the every, town. Literally, everyone in this movie, there is something wrong with them. There is not a single normal person in this movie. I know, I know. So he Holy works at shit. a garage. Yeah. Not Phelps Garage, but in Lori's kitchen, there's a receipt for Phelps Garage. That's the garage of uh, the guy Michael Myers got his jumpsuit from. Oh shit. Which was John Carpenter yeah. in the wo- in the leaves yeah, yeah, and whatnot. Yeah. If you look at this, the truck said Phelps cool. Garage. So I thought he was gonna work shit, at Phelps. I love those little like fucking Easter eggs. I missed They're a little Easter, but them. they're not like jarring. They're not they're like They're not, yeah. but they're cool little tributes. Yeah. I fucking missed all um, of them, I feel like. You're gonna say probably like ten more at least. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> fuck, I missed it. So he works he works for his uncle. And he also wears was a it jump- his uncle. Yeah, it was his uncle. So I was he a little lives with his he li- no, he lives with his mom and uncle. I thought that was like a stepdad or something. How do you know that's an uncle? Did they say it? I think he said it. I didn't catch it on my first viewing, but I think on the second viewing they said it. There were a few things I didn't catch on my first I, viewing. I meant to, I wanted to watch it again today. No. But here's the thing. They introduced the industrial shredder, and I'm like, someone's fucking going in that. And like, I actually went to Casey. I'm like, oh, that's going to be awesome. Like, like we, the whole, and the whole movie, they keep cutting to the shredder. It reminds me of... um. You ever see a uh, hot tub time machine? Yes. So Crispin Glover's character, how in the future he has one arm. And then when they go back in time, like they, they know eventually they're going to find out what happened to his arm and they keep waiting for it. That was me with the shredder. Yeah. I'm like, what happened with the shredder? What happened with the shredder? <laughs> uh, his uncle really cares for him. There are people he who does. feel sorry for him. He's like, hey, here's a cool motorcycle. Yeah, he's have like, I don't fun. need any more. Uh, he's riding his bike the entire time. He clearly doesn't have a car. He's clearly... no. Kind of like super sad and depressed and fucked up. Allison has a car and she's getting pulled over by a cop named Doug. And she goes, that's nice, Doug. And then I remember I have a friend called nice Doug. And I texted him that and he went, I don't know what you're talking about. And I'm like, and he's like, who are you? I'm like, nice. I'm like, I just saw a movie where people said the words nice and Doug side by side. I thought you appreciate it. And he's like, I don't, I, who are you texting? Who are you? Wrong number. I'm way more famous than Nice you, Doug. There's no way he. Be, but you know nice what? Doug, Nice We're Doug doesn't go big ahead league me. And make Nice Doug more famous than you. If you don't know who Nice Doug is, watch our private parts review of the Howard Stern. Re- I actually movie. I don't know who Nice Doug is. He was in the Howard Stern movie review that we did. Oh, cool. With Carl from Who Are These Podcasts? Everyone's favorite. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, he's like trying to flirt with Allison. Maybe he's an. Ex- I saw on like Wikipedia. First off, he's Doug Mullaney. The bullies that were bullying Lonnie in the flashback sequence in Halloween Kills. I guess he's one of their kids or grandkids. Okay. Um, but yeah, they it was he was credited as like a former boyfriend, but that didn't read in the no, I just thought I, he was this guy who had a crush on her. That's what I I mm, it's been a few years I could see her. I, I thought of it was someone that she was like dating or seeing. Or she used to see and then ended really poorly. That, that's what think, Wikipedia said, but it doesn't come across. Oh, that's what I, when I saw it, that's what oh. I got. I mean, that could be it. I, for me, I just I thought he was I thought he was more than a crush. I think it yeah. was like a bad relationship, like a short bad relationship she was in. 
Yeah, yeah. That's the way I read it. Um, because they seem a little bit more had like an intimate relationship. It was just mm, a crush. I would, mm. It seemed more. Uh, but we we get our first hints that Michael is underneath a troll. Another. A tr <laughs> we get the first hints that Michael is living under a bridge, like a troll, perhaps. Yeah. He's like a troll. Yeah, because they. Do you just... think people go up to him and they? They, they have to answer like three riddles or something. You think I don't that happens? Think so. no. I just, mm, what would the riddles be? Is it like you all of a sudden you're answering the scream questions or something like that? I don't know. You know what? We could ask our guest who's been here the entire time, Micah Miles. What do you think? Hi. Oh, hey. What do you think, Micah? Micah. Nothing? Micah, I created you. He's shy. He's shy. Everyone's shy on anything. their first time on the yeah. show. So we're, we'll just leave it alone. Oh, we'll just leave oh alone. I, I also want you to see my little guest. My little guest came a thing. I literally got Scott, uh, this is Gomez, my ju new jumping spider, my first jumping spider that I ever have. I just got him like literally five minutes before I got here. I told Tony, I was like, yeah, I'm bringing a third what do you guest. Feed it? Mealworms. There's yeah. actually quite a few things you can feed him, but yeah. uh, he has a little a mealworm in here. What's the life expectancy on those things? Uh, between 10 months and two years. Huh. Well, Ready? good luck. I'm going to have a probably, well, this is Gomez. And the reason why I call him Gomez is because I get addicted to animals very quickly because I need things to love that don't love me back. I'm really used to that. So I'm also going to get a Morticia and a Wednesday and a Pugsley. And I'm very excited to have a little family. I'm going to try not to go past the four, but, you know, I, sometimes I might need a lurch or a thing. So you're saying uh, you didn't enjoy this trilogy that's about getting over your own personal demons and... Becoming a new, stronger person. Anyway. Uh, no, no, I am, but I got to keep at least <laughs> one habit, okay? To make sure I still <laughs> remain true to myself, okay? So Corey gets bullied by the high school marching band. What the this fuck? Is, this is what Glee did to us. Glee made nerdy theater kids cool, and they turned into bullies. What? I, yeah, they come out in the fucking mar- I was like, who the fuck? Fuck. Like in an old movie, it would be like a greaser or it'd be like a jock. And now it's like, we're the marching band, buddy. And they were literally bragging about mm -hmm. being in the marching band. I was like, this is this is what Glee did to us. What the fuck? What? I mean, I was in the marching band. I was never cool. I just think we need to stop giving birth to theater babies. Oh, my God. I would <laughs> I never want to hear the word theater, theater babies. Baby. If you know what theater baby babies is, watch our Hellraiser review from last week. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, uh, but yeah, he's getting bullied. Lori I helps him out. Uh, and she like flattens the kid's tire. Well, he uh, he lets her, that. she lets him flatten their tires. And, yeah. take, and right away, she's just like, well, this guy needs to sleep with my granddaughter. Yeah, where the fuck did that come? Well, one, I love the the kids were fucking saying, what was it? A, um, it's not like she doesn't know who. The show versus. Uh, the, the psycho makes psycho the freak show. Freak By the way, it's not like she doesn't know who he is. She was there when he got arrested. She was driving by. <laughs> So I'd be like, I'd be like, you know what? Something happened. Nice guy. Maybe not right for so my this granddaughter. Is six years later, right? It said four years. Oh, well, four it's four years, years after. Six. It's four years after 2018. And then he, the kid got killed. This is four years after the kid. Three years after the kid. Three four years. years after 2018. How old is he? Versus how old are these fucking high school? He's like 20. So he's like a like early 20 something and getting get bullied by, by high school high kids. Schoolers. <laughs> Seriously, because he. Wouldn't buy them beer. Yeah. So he was clearly 21 at least. Yeah. Um, and they push him and he doesn't even get up and like nothing. <laughs> He's, what? Uh, but okay. Allison's into him though. And the doctor's into Allison. He's like, isn't she cute? And then but he's like, like, you dumb woman, you knocked something over. Uh, because the doctor is the bad guy. Uh, but yeah, Allison's into Corey and they're, they're having like a little cute flirty relationship. Um, I guess little, this relationship bothers me so fucking much. Oh, uh, really? It moves way oh, too you're not, fast. Oh, you're not alone. Oh, some people think it drags. Some people think this relationship drags the movie down. No, the relationship does drag the movie itself. Yeah. But the, them two becoming a thing, way too fast. Well, they got a lot of baggage and sometimes... People with baggage listen, jump listen. into things. Trauma loves trauma. Trust me. Yes, I know this. Yes. I know this from experience. Yeah. But usually you have your walls up. You have walls up. And if two people are like, oh, you have trauma and I have trauma. Guess what? Those fucking walls are, those walls are still built up. Maybe. But you're like, hey, look, here's a, he's not even that cute. Maybe. I'm sorry, he's not even that cute. Listen, listen. Maybe they ran into Chris Cherico and he 
broke the walls down. Break down the walls. You said walls, and immediately I started thinking I'm of uh, so Chris happy. Jericho. That's what you thought. But Chris Jericho is in a terrible horror film called Albino Farm. Is he really? Oh, I God, love Chris yeah. Jericho. Um, yeah. So Lori and Lindsay are convincing Allison to get laid. Lori's like, just like, you got to show your tits to the world and oh say, my God. Fuck I it. did love that. That makes you want to rip off your shirt and show grief your fucking tits and say, you know what? Let's go. But like with him? Now, of all the people that Michael Myers has scarred and damaged, Lindsay got it the worst because now she's super into tarot cards and new age mystic mystical bullshit. He can't. That's a fate worse you than are death. Such a fucking dick. He's a fate I worse than death. I love that stuff. My, my, Michael is like, I bet you there was a scene where Michael was like gonna kill her, and then she's like, "Oh, my star side says that I'm a Virgo, and I'm in this house." And Michael went, "I can't do any worse than that," and just left the house. <laughs> Michael oh walked God. in and saw a healing crystal, and she's just like, "Nah, I'm good. I'm out." <laughs> what? I thought they were gonna make fun of it. They did it. I like the fact that they actually used the death card as what it actually re like. It oh yeah, I, yeah. Because I've heard in that every before. Fucking horror movie. They're like death card. Someone's gonna die. That's not it. Yeah. It is. It's the death there was of a one. Change, there was one the horror movie where they instant. pointed out that that wasn't actually bad. I forget what one it was though. Definitely not dead alive. I think she did have the death card, and then there was a lot of death oh, that yeah. followed. Uh, but yeah, um, Corey's mother sucks. Holy fuck. I couldn't tell if she was Italian or Jewish. Sometimes it's hard to tell. With <laughs> the really the thick, is. first off, they're in Illinois, but they it seems like they have really thick New York accents. They could have moved. They could have We don't know where the dad like... is. Maybe they moved to Haddonfield. But yeah, I couldn't tell if she was like super Italian or super Jewish. I'm like, which one is it? Maybe it's both. Could it be both? I could be well, both. I mean, Why not? Uh, Well, yeah, according to the Goodfellas, hmm. Jews and Italians marry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so maybe it is both. Yeah, I'm going to go with both. He's like she was. Well, that means like then, then at all of it. It should have been both, and he should have went. He should have went. Mamma mia, oy vey! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> but okay. yeah, she's like, she's like, who you texting over there? Yeah, she had such an accent. My like, son, but I could barely hear it because I'm such a Jersey gal. Yeah, like, <laughs> He's I like, bad I boys like, wow, don't have any accent down here. They have no custard for dessert. <laughs> She sounds like fucking. It was. It sounds like obnoxious. she sounds like one of the Jerky Boys' characters. What was yes. it Sal Rosenberg? This is Sal Rosenberg. Oh my god! <laughs> but like seriously, how overdone was that? I was like, oh, it was really obnoxious. And it's not Real even fast. like she's concerned and stuff because what he's been through. And it's like, nah, this this lady was fucked she's from the beginning. And if that's him. her brother, you can tell her brother's like, oh my god. I couldn't tell that was her brother or her husband. Well, now I know that. that it's her brother because he's an uncle. Yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, I assume it's her brother, but I like, he's just like, don't tell her about the motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, she's. Lori and Frank flirt at the store. That was cute. I. They've been yeah. building up this romance for a while. It was cute. And like, it definitely makes you a little happy. Though. You know what? I The only thing I had spoiled for me, hmm. purposely, a bunch of things got spoiled for. Again, guys. When you post a spoiler to YouTube, I understand people are going to post spoilers. Don't make it it'd be like Halloween ends final kill. Halloween ends this. People put like super specific detail. Like uh, when Godzilla vs. Kong came out, just okay. as an example. It wasn't Godzilla vs. Kong final battle. It was Godzilla and King Kong team up to kill Mecha Godzilla using an axe. And then they leave. I'm like, why that? What the fuck? That's too much yeah. information. Yeah, yeah. Less information. What yeah. the fuck? I don't want to know the specifics of it. So what? What were people saying for this one? I saw some things. I was able to like scroll past them real quick, but we'll we'll get to all of them. Uh, it was nothing that I couldn't figure out because we'll get to a point in this where I'll tell you how the trailers accidentally spoiled something. And they oh had yeah, you followed the next day. They re-edited yeah. the trailers. Um, yeah. So. What was I saying? Oh, the one thing I asked, I asked Jimmy Champagne because he went to one of the premieres, not the red carpet one, but he went to the other premiere. And I said, do they ever show Ben Tramer actually alive or confirm that Ben Tramer was one of her ex-husbands? Because we find out in Halloween Kills, Ben Tramer was alive. Yes. Because Frank's like, I had a crush on you, but you like Ben Tramer. Yes. And of course, in the original Halloween 2, Ben Tramer just tragically gets run. Dr. Loomis kills Ben Tramer as far as I'm concerned by getting that cop to run into him and explode him and 
But in this universe, Ben Tramer lived. And we just want to know if Ben Tramer's okay. Did he marry Lori Strode? Is he one of her ex-husbands? How's he doing? We want to know. Do we? I do. Okay. Instead, we got Frank. How many people? Uh, oh, I picked Frank. Well, they flirt at the store. Uh, and then we find out. T. Frank. Oh, uh, Frank is learning Japanese. This is awesome. I'm totally T. Ryan Frank. is learning Japanese right now. Everyone's so. learning Japanese. I feel like I get it on the stream. I'm not. It's way too hard. I can barely speak English. No, we not. all know that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How do you think? <laughs> how do you think Micro Miles <laughs> came into that, existence? <laughs> um, yeah. So we find out. Fucking Sandra lived. Yeah. Does no one? Someone I else pointed. Someone else pointed this out. Think that she lives. So, someone was, else pointed like, this out I on Twitter. Swore she was like dead, dead. Someone else pointed this out on Twitter. I forget who. Uh, but they said like, does no one die of neck injuries in this town? <laughs> he killed her husband. They're all like, yeah, you bullied that man. And that's why he did. It's all your fault. At no point does anyone go. It was the fucking doctor's fault. It is. Yes. Uh, it is objectively his fault. He purposely let Michael Myers out so that he could kill and cause havoc. Yep. And he purposely did it. Yeah. But knowing, I guess he does anyone know that? I guess the idea is much like since Michael's gone and the town wants to make Corey their boogeyman because they don't have anyone to put their anger out on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't have the doctor to blame because he died. So they're like, I'm going to take my you anger out on you. person, yeah. Yeah, I that's guess that's it. Alive. But I wanted someone because at some point they like, because there are people who hate Corey, but yeah. then there are people like, no, it was also, an accident. But like, wouldn't, didn't Lori basically become yeah. the boogeyman almost? Like, yeah, well, without, but, like the bad guy. Well, like when people hated Lori, I wanted someone to be like, oh, it was that asshole doctor, really? <laughs> yeah. Like, how do they all like they want to blame Lori so fucking much for everything? Yeah, people it was like, her fucking brother. People like to blame people. Jesus. Yeah. Uh wait, her brother? Michael. Oh, uh, not my not the brother. Oh my god. The doctor. No, I was thinking like the relationship yep, yeah, the relationship between Michael and her. She's, I guess it depends on which version you're looking they're at. They're not she's uh they're not related in they're this. Not, they're not, not this related one. in this. Not this one. Not God in this one. It. I can't keep the freaking Halloween story straight. Oh, I had to I had to do That's right, I had to draw I we mentioned it last year, but I actually had to draw the timeline for Ryan to yeah. explain it. And he's like, that's a I mess. Was like, wait a minute. It's not the brother in this one. I was really questioning. I'm like, wait, not this one. So um I like that there was more conspiracy theories on the radio about Michael that the original died and the the one who's now here is the one who poisoned the Pope or something. I'm like, that's pretty funny. I could have listened to a whole movie about that. That would actually be funny. Um, but yeah, some of the town uh, blame Lori. Uh, oh, good chunk. Anytime she's happy. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just sad to go Speaking around. of happy. But at that point, wouldn't, wouldn't you fucking move? Wouldn't no one moves move? in this town. Why don't you move? You hate the town so much. You're that petrified. The only thing I can think of. Move. The only thing I can think of, I guess. I guess because Strode Realty, if that exists, Lori's probably the owner of Strode Realty. So she needs to be in the town because it's based in Haddonfield. No, no. But they never spell that no. out. That's you can never move. a thing. Sell your fucking house and move. Well, that we were talking in the thing. We're like, how did she get such a nice house? We don't know her job is. Like, well, her dad was a realtor. He probably owned a lot of properties. Well, she just had, sent her no, off she there. had a house that got burnt down. Yeah, but she probably so got it from house. her dad who owned because her dad was a realtor. His, her dad, she, technically, she owned the Myers just be, house. Well, just because if you she, think about it, <laughs> just because your dad works in realtors doesn't mean he owns a whole bunch of houses. I don't know. The company might have owned it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think I guess she's involved in. I don't know. No. Point is, she doesn't leave that town. I don't give down. a fuck. Move. Everyone else should have left the town. In the previous movies, like Tommy, Lindsay, I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing here? Get out. Yeah, they're all still there. Uh, Can you imagine you grow up in the town yeah. that you're just constantly scarred from? Yeah, There's no fucking excuses anyway. And then fucking Corey fucking moved, dude. Yeah. Everyone well, he, hates I guess he's you. younger. He doesn't have enough money. No. He's fuck in his 20s. Mm. I guess because his mom would fucking literally kill him if he fucking yeah. moved. But yeah. still. But anyway, they all go party at the bar. And Allison is dancing poorly. Uh, and Corey is. She. Can we just say how much she's texting him? How like obsessed she is with him all of a sudden? Yeah. And it's fucking creepy how. If, honestly, when I was watching this, I was like, "Wow, this is like a Disney movie." Is oh, get married like a sad girl jumped into something too fast with a guy. Tale <laughs> as old as time, song as old as rhyme. Beauty and the 
guy who kills children on accident. <laughs> uh, is that how the song goes? I haven't I watched. Think it does. I haven't watched this. Poor, poor Lansbury, she just fucking died. She's rolling in her grave right now, listening to that. I'm sorry. Rest I, in peace. I literally, I had no idea she was still alive. There's like a few old people. Like when that happens, I'm like, what still- like Shirley Temple died a few years ago. And I was like, if, old, I'm yeah. like, if you told me she died in like 1976, I'd be like, oh yeah. I'm like, she was still alive. 76. I don't know. What the fuck? How old she was. She was old. Um, Jesus Christ. Not so they're old. dancing. He's a scarecrow. He's a uh, scarecrow. They're all having fun. But then the kid's mom is there. He's a horrible dancer. That was a weird scene. She's there on the floor dancing. Like, yeah. I literally felt like I was watching another episode of Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. If you watch Jeffrey Dahmer, he's right. in the club that dances and stuff like that. He's a really bad dancer. And I was like, what the fuck? Look, I know he was a killer, but do you have any do you have any facts that he's a bad dancer? I feel like that was a creative choice to make Jeffrey Dahmer look bad. Jesus <laughs> Not that they Christ. needed it. Not that they needed Jesus it. Christ. No, no, the murder that, and everything. That is what makes Jeffrey Dahmer fucking look, 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 crazy. Look. And I'm sure he's a murderer awkward. and everything and he's a horrible person, but I need a little bit of proof that he was a bad dancer before you put it in your thing. There's proof that he was a murderer. I'm fine with that. Is there video of Jeffrey Dahmer dancing? Let me know. I, would, I don't know <laughs> if I would like to see that. <laughs> anyway. Um... <laughs> So they're dancing. The mom yells at him because she's there. He's like, you killed my son. Don't you think they would also move? There was a reference. Well, technically they did. Uh, they moved out of that house. Um, the tar- yeah, that is. Yeah. Oh, if you're. So they just moved into another house in the same town. It, I, I wonder if it led to their like divorce because they're not together afterwards. They're you don't not, see but them. That together. means they both don't live there. No. And if you get a divorce from someone, wouldn't you just move out of that town? I don't know, but listen. Because it doesn't look like, oh, if you move to another, like, just get the fuck away, both of you. Yeah. There is a reference here that I did not get until I saw it on Twitter. Hey. Uh, so, blonde mom is yelling at the guy. Yeah. And Lindsay, played by Kyle Richards, is holding her back. Yeah. So, Kyle Richards is on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Yeah. Or Atlanta? No, Beverly Hills. Have you that. seen the meme of the blonde woman yelling and then she's yes. reacted to a cat? That's Kyle Richards holding the blonde woman back in that meme because it's from an episode of Real Housewives. Someone pointed together. They have Kyle Richards holding the mom in this movie and then Kyle Richards holding the woman in the meme. And I'm like, oh my God, that is a heavy reference. What? <laughs> what? These are the things I would like to know before I watch this movie. Oh my I had God. No idea. I, that was like a whole thing. Like I didn't realize, like I knew Real Housewives was a thing, but when I, I saw her last fucking... year, and I was like, oh, that girl was still acting. I'm like, oh, she's one of the real housewives. Oh, she's like, like, like Hollywood royalty. I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't know that. It's just, no just a little girl from Halloween. Um, well, good for her. So, yeah, Corey gets. Oh, there must have been something cut out because while they're arguing outside. Yeah. Allison puts her hands out to him like this. I, I don't know if that was cut. No, no, because later on, Lindsay is like doing it to Lori. And they're like holding hands. So I think maybe they said something like Lindsay might have done that to Allison. So she was going to do it for him. But I think it might have got cut out. So now it's just while they're arguing, Allison's just sitting little, like this. It was a little weird seeing that. But I thought that was just her like. No, nah, like, I'm pretty sure. I think that was a deleted scene because Li- Lindsay's literally doing it. It was a little it, like, weird. Lindsay's doing it I, to Lori later yeah. on. So I think that was something that was trimmed out probably from that scene earlier. Maybe. Uh, but he's just like, hey, everyone sees you as a victim. They see me as the monster. Uh, so you know, there's tragic love there. There, it's a tragic love. They, this is a tragic after, love story. After how many days of meeting? Because they also like kind of like ignored each other for a little bit. Yeah. Because he, I knew a guy he, who met a girl on Tinder, and like a week later, she was dropping L bombs and stuff. So it happens. It happens. Uh, so yeah, Corey runs away and he gets bullied by the marching band again. Those those marching band kids are up Where to no fuck good. Where the is his motorcycle? Why is he walking again? I guess I think he went with Allison. Oh yeah, he did. He did. He did. Yeah. Did. So uh, they Does beat him Ubers up. Ubers not exist. Huh? Do Ubers not exist? Taxis? Anything? Whatever. He's just walking. They beat him up. So uh, glasses, which is. And he's by the bridge. Oh, by the way, earlier in the film when he was riding his bike, they had "Love Lives Today" spray painted on the side of a wall. Because that was the thing in the tip jar in Halloween Kills, and that's what gave him the idea to say evil dies tonight. No, that's like no one says that in this one. They no don't. one says it in they this don't. one. They don't. This would have been the appropriate time to say it. No, it would have been. They said it 500 times in the previous film, yep. but not in this one. Yep. Um, but yeah, so they beat him up, and they think they killed him, so they get out of there. 
fucking high schoolers. Yeah. Because yeah, they just push them over. Yeah. And like then someone, glass. I like, someone grabs Corey, brings uh, him into the tunnel. Um, and then a homeless guy is just like. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah. He's like staring there. And he he's a really good homeless guy impression. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. And he's just like Pennywise. Got him. <laughs> it really was a turn into a Pennywise. Um, and yeah, you think he's probably dead or something, and he's, yeah, he's gonna be eaten. You're, at this point, you're no. just like, what the? Where the fuck is Michael Myers? Like, what the? Fuck well, is that's okay. That's the thing. Where was it? Uh, did I have a thing here? You're like, this is going on way too long without seeing Michael. I have a thing. There's like a 20 minute mark at some point. I think when they're flirting on the bike, I'm just like, it's been like. 20, 30 something minutes. The only kill so far has been accidental, but there's been no other scary things, like no stalking or anything. Nothing. There's, and I the can relationship's see, happening fast. I can see fans not enjoying that. Like, as I'm watching it, I think I, I literally leaned over Casey at some point, like halfway through, and I'm like, oh yeah, I get why people don't like this one. I get it. Not that I agree 100%, but I get it. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, because uh, they're speeding through a rela like the relationship is so important to the story. I'm like, yeah. no. But no. like th there's really not a lot of scary things happening. And then no, Mike then no. Michael shows up. Uh it's I feel like they backtracked a little bit. Because the last movie, they're like, he gets stronger the more people he kills, and brute force can't stop him. He's not a mortal man. Uh he will be stronger and blah blah blah. But this one, he's clearly. Cause that's not what it was in 2018. 2018 tried to make him just a regular hard to kill guy again. But then with kills, they're like, well, he we, was with, with kills. Supernatural the, yeah. Basically. With kills. Yeah. They're like, he has to be supernatural. He was supernatural. Now all of a sudden you see him, but like, um, and he's clearly. So I think the thing is, it's really hard to kill him, but he will take that. Even if he survives, he will take damage. And if you think about 2018, I have a whole video. Uh, called every Michael Myers injury in the current continuity. I he did, was yes. shot multiple times, like stabbed. He like is super, you can't yeah. say he's not supernatural with that many injuries. I know. There's no fucking way. All of a sudden, now he's fucking crumbling in a fucking. And it's not sewer. even like it's not even like in Halloween. You know, he got shot like six times. Yeah. Uh, fell off with that, but then he was arrested and probably taken to a hospital and was in a hospital for a year, four decades. This, he's living under a sewer. He's not treating those wounds properly. <laughs> How the fuck is, yeah, then he has to be supernatural. He still has the fucking mask on. Still has the mask. I don't, think, he, I don't think he wears it all the time. Uh, I think he's I think he's like, ooh, a visitor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where this one I have company. How is that? Look, okay, I know they excused it because they said it was in evidence in 2018. But Whoa. like, but like. By the way, of course, the the I know we have Michael M Micro Miles there, but the dr the illustrated version of Micro Miles was the original mask that is dry rot at the shit. Yeah, this mask would be so, a, a forty four year old mask would be dry rot at the shit and like totally dissolving on him. Yeah, it in the sewer. is massively damaged. Yes, yes. At which that was point, then it burnt. would be moldy inside. Yeah. it would be horrendous inside. The hair yeah. is actually still okay. Yeah, you're like, what the. Well, now, uh, this film, starting around this point, uh, it really reminds me of Son and Ghost of Frankenstein. So I Son of Frankenstein, see. Igor finds the creature. Oh, I know Son of Frankenstein. Yes, yeah, yes, and yes. then he like gets the doctor to like revive him because he's yeah. weakened, and then he uses him to get revenge. And then Ghost of Frankenstein, Igor finds the creature again, specifically in a cave, so he looks like he's all stone, and that's kind of what Michael Myers looks like in this. Like, he kind of blends in with the cave he holes. He does blend in with, yeah, yeah. He blends in with the cave holes. But and then in that one, Igor eventually becomes the monster. Um, So they definitely took cues from that. Sure. And the movie Christine. Uh, because yeah. this evil force that's in Michael, Corey looks into his eyes. And then Corey sees all his painful memories mixed with Michael's murder. So it's like, did he transfer some of his evil into him? That it. <sighs> Are we led to believe that something similar happened to Michael you as a child? You start to think that, but then it's construed. I feel like. Yes. Because, like, um, yeah. So he he leaves the sewer and he ends up killing the homeless does, guy. Well, you would think Michael would kill him, and Michael doesn't kill him. He's able to get away from Michael, so he's clearly super fucking weak because yeah. if high schoolers could beat this kid up yeah. and almost kill him and Michael can't what the fuck well Michael he, that's why he passes dark energy into him 
It's like the force. I don't know. Uh, but he kills the homeless guy accidentally. And that's the thing. It's the second kill. It's like 45 minutes in. And again, it's an accident. Like the homeless and guy goes just, to stab it, him. And, and that was like, like they, a, such a like a like a pathetic kill. Too. But I like the old guy. He's like, I'm Michael Myers. Give me that mask. So I like that the homeless guy has been like, he knows Michael's in there. Yeah. But I guess Michael just leaves him alone. Which is weird. I'm assuming like that dude leaves food out for him. But but they show that there's a McDonald's not too far. So Michael probably like digs in dumpsters at night. Or he probably gets something from the homeless people who chill there. They just leave him alone. Because he doesn't really want to kill that, old homeless dudes. That's not like his thing. He kills everything. Everything. I think if you. Well, that's not who he. He does kill everything. But what he wants to kill is, he wants is the young, young people the babies, in their yes. houses. Yes. That's it. Like, that's his goal. But uh, even like in the other movies, even in like uh, mm. kill, like he just goes and kills. Yeah, but I like these. Like no one else has ever come out of there. What did he do? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so now he's got this dark energy in him, and uh, I have another note here. Corey's mom sucks because uh, okay. she's yelling at him constantly. Oh my God. Uh, and also, Allison's coworker fucked the boss for a promotion. Yes, yeah, she did. She's, she's like, I thought headed he sluts. He's like. <laughs> Fucking redheaded sluts. He Jesus was like, Christ. I thought he was going to make you head nurse. And then he's like, come into my office, lady. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, um, so yeah, uh. So yeah, eventually Lori she, gets. She's an idiot. Lori gets really creepy Michael vibes from Corey because he's standing behind a bush like Michael Myers and then creeps up behind her. And yeah. she's like, OK, buddy, you can't do you, that to yeah. me. You can't yeah. do that to me. Um, Yeah, he uh, Corey then takes Allison on a lovely date to where he accidentally killed the kid. That's where ladies like to go, right? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Girls love yeah. all that true crime shit. Um, Actually, yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, tra well, trauma girls, definitely. Yes. You're, you got to remember, this isn't like, you got your normal crazy girls, you got some regular girls, you got, you know, all different types. This is trauma girl. Massive yeah. trauma girl. Tra by, massive trauma girl loves to watch other trauma. Yes. And by the way, Corey's mom does suck, but she has a point with Lori. She's like, this town needed a boogeyman and they picked my son because yours wasn't around. And it's like, well... She's got a point, but Lori, really you did drive a lot of people into hysteria and whatnot. But like, also, she's just chilling in this house. Like, they just why would she let her in the house? Like, it's just you just she wanted like, to yell at it someone. Just happens. She wanted to yell at yeah, someone. Her son wasn't home, I guess. Um, so yeah, Allison doesn't want to leave Haddonfield because of her grandmother. But to your point, it's like, why don't you both leave? Yeah, why don't oh, you pack both up leave? And y'all make a fucking trip to fucking Jersey. Yeah, but Doug interrupts their date like an asshole. This actually happened to me, Mike. My last girlfriend on her second date, like a guy like interrupted, like clearly flirting with her, like trying to talk to her about all these things. And I just sat, there. I let it happen because I knew he didn't have a chance, but I was like, I admire the balls on this guy. Did he just, do you think like, oh, this might be her Turns brother. out a lot of people we know, know him. And then, uh, not we know, people I know actually know him. Okay. He posts videos on Facebook of him deadlifting and he makes sure the bar hits his dick oh. every time he deadlifts. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Gross. I was like, oh, that's the guy who interrupted my date that one time. <laughs> you really? I was just like, yeah, okay. This guy's talking for a while. He's definitely not reading the room. Or he's overly confident. Good or for he him. He just doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of that. Or even just like going around any day or. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Corey gets mad at him. Unlike me, who was like, whatever. Corey gets mad at him. Uh, and Allison's like, well, I need to sleep with you. And Corey's like, no, not tonight. I have a date with murder. <sighs> and Michael Myers. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, yeah he, he gets way. It, it was fucking weird. Yeah. He tricks the cop into coming to the sewer. Now, this is a weird thing. There was more of these in the sewer. And I, you could see it in promotional pictures, but you only see it here. There was a Michael Myers face in the wall. I did see that. He, yeah. There's yeah. a there's a promotional picture where you could see that there was a completely different one that was like a front angle of the face. And everyone was wondering what it was. And like when I saw it in the trailer, I thought it was going to be like Ghost of Frankenstein where he's in the wall. Yeah. Um, so I guess the idea is that like Michael in his spare time just carves faces and it carves his Michael Myers face. He's a sculptor. He is an artist he's though. An artist. No, he's literally an artist because he makes art out of a lot of his murders in all in these movies. And they're beautiful. They're really beautiful. I you know. got to recreate one of his art pieces in our, our uh, Halloween did. thing. Um, I did. So I imagine him being bored. He's like, oh, I'm too 
too I'm too old to go kill. Let me carve a face in the wall. Yeah, it's like he he would be a window. What is it? Window Whit whittling. whittling. Whittling instead of whittling. He's just mm -hmm. carving in the. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was gonna be explained. No. Or even see more than one because it said they just show the one, and even the guy goes, "What the fuck is that?" And I remember watching, going, "Yeah, what the fuck is that?" <laughs> Uh, but yeah, he, uh, he struggles to kill the cop, but Corey helps him and Corey's like, teach me how to do it. And this, again, this is very Christine when Arnie realizes that Carr is doing his bidding and is totally cool with it and just allows that darkness in. Yeah. So Michael kills him and it's, it's implied. Like, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. It's implied that when he kills him, that maybe like the kill, like reinvigorates him a little bit. It excites him. That's what you well, I thought know, I well, was getting. I thought maybe it was like fixing him, but it also no. could have just been exciting him. He's That's like, what I thought. Yay. Yeah, I thought it was like almost He like does a little dance. On. Yeah, I thought he it was like, like, yeah, I thought it was like kind of like He's sexually like, arousing oh. for him. Like, well, yeah, when he does kill people, he does breathe really heavily. Yeah. <laughs> Why doesn't Michael kill him? I don't I think, think Michael is smart enough to understand by looking at someone that they also have trauma. Well, but also there's well, a no, lot of because this that go this trauma. could imply this implies that maybe he did something similar to the doctor because the doctor became obsessed with Michael and wanted to help Michael. So maybe Michael can put like a dark hold over people who let darkness in to help him. But in the end, I think that was just it, it, in the end. He, Michael is very selfish. He doesn't want to share that for. Long. I don't think he wants to share. I don't think he gets it. But I mean, the doctor probably stared into Michael's eyes many, many times. And then. OK, that's probably what happens. Maybe he's doing the same thing. Corey's like, hey, I'm in a shitty position right now. I need some help for a bit. I don't think you can just get that from staring at someone for 10 seconds. Well, look, the, the answer is they're trying to do Christine again, but with Michael Myers instead of a car. There's the simple answer, Crystal. They're doing Son of Frankenstein, where Igor's like, ah, my neck's broken. I need someone to help me kill. They're doing that. They're doing that. This is dumb. I, I will share what I think could have been better later on. All right. <laughs> um, oh, so, so now Mo Corey's in the mood for love. Oh, now, yeah, 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 yeah. Now he's in the mood for love. And uh, I have a thing here where it's like, I was, I was thinking. Because now he got, yeah, he got turned on by uh Yeah, because. Michael is now at Lori's house outside watching. Yeah. And it's like, did he did he ride Michael on his motorcycle? That's what I thought of the doctors. I was like, yeah. are they like, are they together? Are they together? Yeah. yeah, I think he rode Michael on the motorcycle, <laughs> which they obviously they wouldn't show. But I'm thinking like, about it. I'm like, we never seen him with a car. Also, how would he know that she lives there? Because don't you think he probably would have gotten... Oh, is it because now he's killed someone? Now he's stronger? Uh, Corey told him. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think Michael knows where things are. No, he in grew the up camp. in Haddonfield. And he knows. This house? Oh, yeah. Whatever. He knows. He was six years old, but he remembers. Probably looked at maps. Anyway. Um. <laughs> you, if you tell me where something where I, the town I grew up in, you're like, oh, yeah, it's on this street. I'd be like, I don't know where that fucking street is. I know the street <laughs> I lived on. So I like when they talk to the dad the dad of the dead kid. And he's like, Corey was a good kid. Like he's the opposite of the mom where he doesn't blame Corey. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, look, I tried to talk to him, but then when I looked at him, like I realized like, oh, this is not the same kid. And it's like, maybe we turned him into this. And I can go with that. But I like what he said. He's like, I kind of got mad that everyone else got mad about my son's death. Cause they kind of took my tread. Like they, they made it about them, which yeah. happens all the time. It does. It I hate does. when like other people die or there's a tragedy and people immediately are like, I need like, to make it about yeah, me. Yeah, when something gets really fucked How, up and they just like literally turn the entire thing about themselves. It's, it's like, oh. It's selfish. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It, there's so many fucking things wrong with it. It's like it happened. You know what? It's better not to even just to talk about fucked up shit. Yeah. And uh, you could say like, hey, this is really sad. This person meant a lot to me and stuff. But there are people who then like, We'll go on about like how it's about them and how it affect them personally. You see it every time there's a tragedy or a or, like a major death. It's like, all right, fucking relax. When I die, just make fun of me. Just fucking, I, I'm giving, I'm giving the internet permission. When I die, just make fun of me relentlessly. Anyway, so yeah, Lori is like, oh yeah, there's definitely something up with him. Uh, I looked at his eyes and it felt like I was looking into Michael's eyes. Uh, so that's what she's on about there and then the doctor gets ready to sleep with redhead nurse yeah yes 
He's got the he's got the Alexa playing music. Uh, he's got he's got the nice corkscrew. I was just, I wanted to see a little bit more of that. Like it was, I was like, are they married? Is this like enough? No, they're not married. Like, is he married? Oh, maybe it's together. it's the first time she's seeing his house. But yeah, she knew exactly where the bedroom and the bathroom were. He like, told he her. Just, he told her. He's like, it's right down the hall. Oh, but she went like straight down to the bedroom. So did he think that she was automatically going to go to the bedroom? And see no, he told her to go to the bedroom. Oh, I totally missed that. He part. said there's a shower in the bedroom, but yeah. Oh, I missed that part. Oh uh, yeah, so he's like uh, getting ready. Uh, and then she hears something going on and it turns out it's Corey wearing his scarecrow mask, just stabbing him in the fucking neck with the corkscrew. Everyone's making fun of the scarecrow mask. But if you think about it, like Michael's first mask was a clown. No, yeah, that's right. You got to start somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Start. You got to start I mean, somewhere. He was kind of like a freaky mask. Like you see that mask and you kind of, you're like, yeah, something's going to happen with that mask. They keep showing the mask. You're they like, They altered the death in the trailer. Because really? they I don't think they want to give away the Corey thing in the trailer. The doctor is just like floating in the pool. I mean, maybe there's a scene where they threw him in the pool, but how it's edited in the trailer, she oh, goes shit. out, sees him in the pool, and then Michael comes out. I they think want that's to false cut. advertisement. Well, no, they you, no, I think that's false they advertisement. They do that a lot. Uh, movies have been doing that for a long time. Yeah, I know. It's still false advertisement. I want to see um, a dead body floating in a pool. But yeah, so Corey and Michael double team these two. Uh, Michael stabs the girl up on the wall. Corey Good pretends like his hand is healing, but it's not. <laughs> Were you surprised to see Michael there? Yeah. Like, but then this really confirms, like, is Michael? Because after that, it cuts to Corey on a motorcycle with Allison. And I really thought the camera was going to pan back and Michael Michael's, was going to be I on. I thought that too. But that's the thing. It's like, I can't. How does how does he convince Michael to go out to this house and be like, listen, there's these two people I need you to kill mm -hmm. for me. And Michael's using do, him. Do they just, like high five at the end? I like I can so. just see them be like, <laughs> nice murder. <laughs> you got nice murder too. High five. I think he just keeps Michael saying, again, it feels like the Igor Frankenstein thing in those two no, movies where Igor is like Frankenstein's protector and whatnot. So it feels like that. Like the classic, the monster's not strong enough. It needs a, the real bad guy to help him out or something like that. I'm not saying that was the right thing to do. But later in the movie, like it, after you see the movie, all like you go back and rethink about it. You're like, no, that's not how that works though. Mm. Well, no one ever has, talks. No uh, one ever talks about these people ever again. Uh, and Allison yeah. goes to work the next day, and no and one nothing, says, "Where's the is doctor?" Normal. The two um, are not there. Like nothing <laughs> happened. And yeah, I have it here. We're not getting a lot of Michael stalking, other than Lori, in that one scene. A lot of it is just like someone walks around, and then Michael just shows up and kills him. Like we're not getting the usual Michael going around you don't and even hunting. Get the, the Someone shows up and Michael kills them. This is his, se this is Michael's second kill. Yeah. Yeah. And this is kind of like, it was a nice original kill, mm -hmm. but the first one was like, it was just like. You just stab the guy over and over again. Yeah. But yeah. But it's he a, also with help and all of a sudden he's and again, strong. If you're someone who's here he for the Mike, if you're here for the Michael Myers kills, I could see at this point in the film, yeah, you being like, angry. fuck yes. this. Yeah. This uh, wasn't a Michael Myers movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, the uh, my uh, Corey and Allison are up on the radio tower, and he's like, "I looked at this radio tower after the accident, and it did something to me. Something, Why something philosophical." Really there, like what? I don't know. But then the DJ yells at them. He's like, "Get the hell out of here!" He's like, "Oh, by the way, your mom bullied a mentally challenged man." That's like the new the new narrative going on. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And it turns out Lori is stalking both of them. She's doing more stalking than Michael. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Uh, and then I have here, Corey's mom sucks. Yep. Um, right. Lori begs Corey. He's now sleeping in the dead kid's house where the dead kid died. Which is really fucking weird. But she sits there and she's like, so there's two types of evil. The how one does she know that that was there? I guess because that one scene she where was she drove him. by and knew that. He yeah, there's that. And she was following him. This is all her fault. I'm not going to lie. This is actually her fault this time. But this she has a whole thing. percent her fault. She has a whole thing where it's like, hey, there's two types of evil. This one's like this force and whatnot, which I guess was Michael Myers. And it's like, and then the other type of evil is like an infection that grows inside of you. And it's more dangerous because you don't know it's there. And I guess that's Corey. Uh, but she's basically like, break up with my granddaughter. You're the one that put them together. And it's been what? Like four days. That was before he stared into Michael fucking... Myers' beautiful eyes. I, one of them's dead. You really <laughs> think that's why? What... Because they also don't say when the hell the dad, the uh, mm. dad of the dead kid. I assumed, what... it, I assumed it was after Within? That. How long has this been? It's a few because... days, I think. 
only a few days. Yeah. So they don't show him walking along the side of the road because at that point, though, he wouldn't be walking. He would have had a motorcycle. So it would have happened before. Well, no, no. I think it was after. No, it must have been after he left the cave the first time because he didn't have his motorcycle at the bar. But at the when you look at him, he didn't look all fucked up. And that was at night. That was during the day, the flashback. I don't know. We'll watch it again. We'll watch it again. Well, I'll confirm it here. But anyway. Because uh, <laughs> guess what? I didn't see a fucking difference in him or his eyes or his mannerisms from the beginning of the I movie until so. this. I'll make sense of it. I'll make sense of it. Okay. Make sense um, of it. Because it's not making sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> you also saw it twice. I only saw it once. But yeah. this is my first take on it. And I'm like, fuck this shit. So she's, she's basically like, leave Allison alone. She's not ready for this, whatever. And then Corey's like, Allison, your mom wants to kill me. Uh, we got to get out of this town. And then this is the most relatable You're thing. getting out of this town. This is the most relatable thing I've ever seen Michael Myers do. He has a sloppy bro fight with Corey. Corey goes into the tunnel. And I love that it's just one uninterrupted shot of them just tussling and wrestling on and what off camera. The Oh no, I got so many what? flashbacks of college of me and my friends getting drunk and yelling at each other and then wrestling and stuff. I like, hated that so much because I was like, are they like training? I like literally when I looked at that, it looks like they're training. Like he's like trying to pump up Michael for more training. Like, listen, listen, come on, come on, bro. Come on, get your anger Crystal, in. Come Crystal, on, get your anger in. Crystal, like, you like that? I mean, you hated that? It was ridiculous. You hated that. I mean, okay, okay. Because I'm about to See, tell I, you, I'm about to tell you, this is my favorite goddamn scene of the movie. <laughs> I, when I watched it today, I reread it like four times. I'm like, this is, I, this made the whole trilogy worth it, it to see Michael Myers in a drunken bro fight. <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. Don't get me wrong, but on a Halloween movie, that was, it wasn't hey, just hey, so Hey, if you're going to try some new things, drunken bro fight Michael Myers, I'm 100% in on that. <laughs> you have a drunken bro fight with Michael Myers, but he just did two kills. So now is Corey stronger He's than still Michael? an elderly man, uh, which yeah. Corey says, he's like, you're just a man in a Halloween okay. mask. He's just a man in a Halloween mask. Yeah. Corey gets fucking beat up like a motherfucker by some high school students. Yeah. I am very confused of where the strength lies in this movie. Well, Corey's got the dark energy and he's very young. Michael's got the dark energy, but he's, he's an old guy. But he's just a man in a suit. How is he able to now transfer dark energy if he's just a fucking I man don't in a suit? know. I didn't write the thing. <laughs> I didn't write the movie. The movie had wrong. four writers. I'm not one of them. They should have only had one because clearly they didn't have their shit together. No, the drunken bro fight. I, I don't it care. Was ridiculous. No, I loved it. I loved every second of the drunken bro fight. I loved it. I was like, this and then I like really when he gets up the at movie? the end. Like Michael gets up. It's the only time you really get a good look at him. I think. Uh, I've seen the picture of him. Like James Jude Courtney posted the picture of like the makeup. You really and stuff. don't see him that much, like that. Well, in this well. one, I will say this series, like they do, sh they do a good job of like having Michael Myers unmasked and kind of seeing his face, but obscuring it enough where you never get like a quite a good look, yeah. unless you look up pictures of it on the behind the scenes stuff. Um, yeah, it was really easy for them. Whereas before, time. they never showed his face other than the first Halloween or Rob Zombie's Halloween where he doesn't have the mask on half of Halloween, too. No, um, let's, not, let's not talk about those. I was ones. wondering how he was, like, shaving. And then when he takes the mask off, you see, like, his face is so burned. I'm like, oh, he just doesn't grow hair. No. He has, like, whiskers at one point. Yes, he does. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, there's a drunken bro fight. Uh, Corey declares himself Zoomer Michael Myers. Boomer Michael Myers is not happy about this. So it's Boomer versus Zoomer. Um, <laughs> and you'll never believe this, but an older woman gives an advice, gives advice to a younger woman about how her taste in men is bad. And the younger woman ignores it. <laughs> Clearly, this is a work of fiction. Am I right? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. No. Was, was this scene relatable at all? <laughs> I to related. Be honest, I related to the drunken bro fight. Usually, it's the only other. It's usually no. See, what I'm relating to is the trauma meets trauma. Yeah. The other way around, like usually, it's like no. I'm usually giving like advice to older, like all the ages, <laughs> all the ages, because I'm like, listen, I've been there, done that. I'm still doing it. Yeah. No. Not good. Well, I don't actually. I really don't get much advice. Like, well, you good know what? You know people. what? You need to get in some drunken bro fights. I then... am down. Who's getting a drunken bro fight? Let's do this. Uh, Yo, 
I can't tell what Van Damme movie Corey's uncle's watching, but I know I've seen it before. Uh, Corey's uncle is at the guard, like the dump, the the is he the, the junkyard the overnight shift. I'm guessing he just thing? didn't feel like dealing with his sister, I mean, I uh, and he's just watching a movie on a laptop, which I thought was funny. But uh, yeah, the the marching band comes to screw up Corey's motorcycle because he scratched up their car, uh, and Corey kills them all. He he runs over. Well, he stabs the one in the I'm eye. I'm so happy now he can actually yeah. fight and stick up for him. He stabs the one in the eye. <laughs> yeah, how'd you feel about that one? How'd you feel about I that? I appreciate time and effort put into it. Wait, someone made that you? Yeah, the flail <gasps> made it. I didn't know that. I appreciate can you it. Literally, like, does it come with a like? You actually stab it? Yeah, you can I put pens. Know. You can put pens in it. <gasps> anyway, that is so cool. Wait, anyway, what is it? Let's take a pen. Wait, what's the pen? Is this a pen? Oh, it's a pen. Let me see. No, it's like oh, it's a candle. But oh, it's it'll a work. candle. Means <laughs> yep. over there. Okay. Oh, it could be like a candle holder. You yes. light it. Anyway, uh, so he he stabs <laughs> the one person in the eye. He runs over the one girl and pins her down under the the truck. The poor uncle goes to investigate, and the other kid has the gun, and the uncle gets shot in the face. I was like, oh damn, when I saw that. I okay. Yep. I'm gonna say. This is my favorite scene in the entire movie because yeah. it felt like. No, I don't know if this is your favorite. I think your favorite scene is coming up. Um, well, definitely your favorite character is coming up. Uh, anyway, hmm. so why, why did you like this scene? I loved it because it was actually creative kills again. Yes. I loved the kills. He, he beats... I remember I was, I was actually texting someone as I was watching them. They're like, and he was like, oh, how are you like the movie? And I was like, right now I'm like not really liking it, but the movie's not done yet. So I'm still gathering no. my opinions. And then all of a sudden that comes, I was like, oh, there's some really good kills. He goes, I knew you were a person that With loved the, good the, kills. The flame on the guy's mouth it melting him. was every single kill in that was And then he crushes good. the girl's head and then runs over the head. Yes, like, oh. and I'm like loving this. I'm like, yes, well, I want more, I want more. And then that doesn't happen anymore. Like that, I was, yeah. I was like, you, you build you up mm. for all this. And then it just kind of, from this moment, it just drops. Well, down. then he goes to the DJ's station. Okay. Oh, 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 And, and oh, his lovely, his, I love this his scene. lovely assistant, uh, pro you know what? what? Probably my favorite character in the film. Absolutely. 110%. Should have been in the film longer if you Absolutely. ask me. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> the, I think it's just because she is so beautiful and She's amazing very beautiful. and everything about her. It just, it would overtake the movie to be honest. Like as and, soon as she showed up that, just that. Oh, I, when I look at her, I'm just I like, you know like, what? There, there she is. I'm like, I you knew know, she was in the movie. And then I was like, <laughs> I was like, you know what? I bet you she knows a lot about horror films and has good takes on That's them. Like, yes. I wonder what her favorite Halloween film would be. Mm. <laughs> yes. Darcy's in the movie. I love Darcy. They cut out. Uh, they trimmed a lot of her death scene now. Uh, was there more? Yeah, she talked about how there's more. There's going to be on the Blu-ray. We're like, oh, I guess shit. you actually got to see Corey like gutting her I and stuff. I would have. I was actually really disappointed that that's all I saw in the background. I kind of did. I didn't mind the background stuff because that was one thing 2018 it. did really well where he's I, killing people in the background. I didn't mind it. Yeah. But I wanted to see more of Darcy, to be honest. Yes. That's why. Yes. I would love to see more but, of Darcy kill. And by the way, speaking of things that made the movie worth it. The DJ kill. The DJ kill was awesome. Where he smashes his face and then cuts his tongue and then the, the record I player was like, yes. skipping. And I'm like, you're that's hearing it. fucking I just, awesome. I like, cut of the top. I was like, oh shit. That was great. It, that, that scene was also great. The, the problem his is. kills are fantastic. The problem is it's happening so late in the movie. Like Christine, he gets the car and the car does start doing weird shit earlier in the film. Yeah. The thing but is, this I is think it, building everything it up waited now. too long to get to this point. Yes, I agree 100%. Maybe not for me. Like I'm I'm fine with it. I was but fine. I can see people would be more, I think people would be more tolerable of this Corey twist they were, if it happened a little bit earlier. They were building up too much of a relationship that was just a shit relationship that's just I guess not to make believable. it more tragic when he turned. Yes, I understand. You're but at that point, build. it's like. You're trying to build this kind of sympathy, but yeah. I don't think they ever truly build the sympathy you would feel for this guy. No. I never felt anything. I never felt bad for him, ever. Yeah. I felt a little bit bad, like in the very first scene where, you know, he killed the kid. You're like, oh shit, that sucks. Yeah. And this guy, he's kind of, but like you look at him, you're just like, Neh. yeah. Just the way he handles himself. I'm just like, I don't fucking feel bad for him. He's not a likable character. Yeah. 
Uh, this is a bit of a tragedy to him, I guess. His scene with Lori is where they make him bad, bad, where he's like, no one will have her if I can't have her. It's like, okay. That, yeah, and they pushed Incel. it really uh, hard. <laughs> but yeah. But I'm uh, sorry. If when he, as soon as he would, he got pushed, I think it's when he got pushed down by the high schoolers is when I was like, oh, fuck this guy. He's a fucking <laughs> bitch. Now, this is a scene, uh, I, this scene, the whole emotional impact was wasted because there's so much of it was in the trailer where Lori looks at the picture of her friends, which you three girls recreate it. Um, but yeah, she's like, I'm going to commit suicide and she's drinking, Yes. but it's like, we all saw the trailer where we Michael comes in. So yeah. like, it was just like, oh, that would have been, that would have been nice if it wasn't ruined. However, the trailer spoiled the Corey thing. So when the first trailer came out, they showed Michael opening the door, which, which by the way, it's point of view in the actual film. You never even see Michael in the scene, but in the trailer, it shows Michael opening the door and he has all five fingers on his left hand which this Michael had two of them blown off. So people were like, it's either a flip shot or there's a copycat. No one knew. Yeah. People guessed. And then I was like, well, I don't know. Cause, Cause it just could just be a flip shot. But then the next trailer, they used a different take where you can't see his hand. I'm like, Oh, they fucked up. They fucked up. They put the copycat and they didn't catch it in time. I didn't catch that. Not that the trailer people know they're given like footage. Yeah, yeah. sure. Just to edit it up. But... Uh, <laughs> um, oh, I didn't catch that. Yeah, so I this watch, I didn't watch the trailers close enough. Yeah, so this was like a, a whole trap to get Corey, and she shoots him off the balcony, which is pretty it awesome. Is, yes, that is actually awesome. And she's ready to fight him. She's like, I'm, I'm I've tried compassion, that. and I'm done. Sometimes Can violence I, is the answer. Um, Can I just ask? Because later you find out, like she makes this call. Mm -hmm. She makes a real call. Yeah. Why didn't she just fake the fucking call? I think, I think her plan was to kill Corey and be like, killed himself. <laughs> Why wouldn't you call it afterwards after it was done? Or she wanted, well, she definitely wanted the cops to show up, but she probably wanted to give Corey this false sense of like her giving I up. I did. Yeah. Like I got that. I thought that's what it was. And then mm. all of a sudden I'm like, why did she actually call? Yeah. But then he tricks her because Allison's coming home. She's like, she's going to find out you're a killer. How did he know that she was coming home? They heard her. But he didn't know. He well, didn't he didn't know that. he was going to get shot off a balcony. <laughs> True. But he like, went in overconfidence was like his a, weakness. Over he hears her. Well, he hears a car and everything. You yeah. don't know who it is. Like, how's he going to know who it is? Be funny it could have been was, fucking Frank. Yeah, could have been the pizza guy. Could have been, yeah, the pizza guy. Poor fucking pizza <laughs> guy. If I can't have the pizza man. Uh. <laughs> well, that's how actually I usually feel. <laughs> uh, but no, so he cuts his throat, like killing himself, basically. And it makes it look like Lori did it. And Allison's like, you suck. I hate you, grandmother. I don't think she says grandmother in this one. No. Uh, and she's like, I'm getting the fuck out. And Lori's like, oh my God, my daughter, my granddaughter yeah, she's hates like literally me. literally losing her mind at this. She's like, ah, what have I done? This man screwed me over. And he's all like, blah. Uh, but then Allison's like, oh, hey, the radio station's on fire. Oh, fuck. Maybe he was a bad guy. <laughs> and then, that's what made her realize that. And then Michael, Michael, buddy, <sighs> buddy, Michael, just get another mask. He was really upset. How, Every like, single in this continuity, even back to the original, he could have killed Lori, but she took his mask off and he was like, no. <laughs> and then he could have killed <laughs> my face. He could have killed Lindsay in the previous film, but she messed up his mask and he got upset about it. No, and no. this one, he takes his mask. By the way, in the first film, I think he just grabbed a mask that was around. Like he just wanted a mask. I don't think it mattered to him which mask it was. Mm -hmm. But there are so many Michael Meyer masks out there. That's the thing. Well, that's but the also, thing. why did Corey have to grab his original shit? But, 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 by the way, that's the point. Yeah, that's the problem. Michael Myers has now become iconic, so he's not allowed to not have that mask. Yeah, because they literally say, how was it? The one guy or someone was saying in the movie how people were coming dressed up as Michael Myers. Yeah, but it's just like, it's like, buddy, hit up a spirit Halloween. Anything. It's all over the place. Steal it. I'm sure a someone. I'm Amazon. Sure. That, trick or treat studio. I don't like the hair on that mask, but that looks like his original mask. It does. You can get it. You can order a nice Halloween resurrection mask like this one here. This one hasn't been well preserved. I'm sorry. Yeah, it depends on which movie he likes. Which one does he yeah. want to do? Um, he, has the, he has all these choices. But yeah, so he's just like, I got to get my mask back. And I hope there was a deleted scene where he realizes where the mask is and goes, oh my God, this brought again. Oh my God. <laughs> 
Because <laughs> I was like, my, just... my friend Asa was just like, I love how like Michael really doesn't care about Lori, but keeps bumping into her. <laughs> That's actually right. Really and funny. she, I think she was just like, I swear I'm not doing it on purpose. <laughs> so do you think he was just watching as everything was happening, being like, all right, let me see Corey do his thing. Let yeah. me see. Is he gonna be a good like? Well, Corey got student. Corey got a head start and had a truck. Michael's probably like, oh man, I'm old, <laughs> and he's got he's got to hide in the shadows. Like, yeah, exactly. Because he's no Michael fucking him. Myers. Yeah. There's probably people being like, oh, by the way, because people probably have pictures of Michael Myers at this point, and they're like, by the way, he looks like this, just missing some hair and has but horrible also, burns. It's, it's around. It's not Halloween though, which I'm kind of sad. I wish it was like happening. I wonder if there was like a thing where he like took the hobo's clothes and wandered around. I was curious about that. But then too. that would look too much like Rob Zombie's Halloween too, and I guess Ooh. they wanted to avoid that. But that would be smart if he had to that get around been, town. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah but like. Mm, yeah, yeah, like he just comes in through the back door yeah. and he's just like, like right when it's oh, like. But I, li I like that Lori's the one kind of like in 2018. I like yeah. where she turned the tables on him where like she like he's like looking around and she's like in the background. Uh, Why did she have to stop the clock? I don't know. That didn't make sense to me why she had to stop that. Noise. Oh, was it a clock? Yeah, it was a, was it it was like a, a curtain. It was the the, the oh, string for the curtain. Oh, yeah. Is that what it was? Or the it, shutters. Yeah. Like well, why didn't she just keep it like it was I already going? I do like that you put the microwave on to explode to distract him. I did like that. But then they have their final fight. Not as cool as the 2018 one. No. Kinda, it's kind of, I mean, the 2018 one was stretching it a little bit, but there were like guns and knives I and whatnot. I think this is what made me really, really. This one, it's just two geriatric people tossing That's each other. That's what about. it was. Holy fucking shit. That's what I, ugh. And it wasn't I like, was so like we just saw Michael loss in a drunken bro fight with his bro. Clearly so it wasn't gonna. just like, I wonder if Michael will, oh, Michael killed. Just, By the way, they couldn't just let Corey die. Michael had to kill oh, yeah. Corey. So clearly Michael doesn't care about him. If he just goes to like, he's like just struggling. He kind of just he let was him just, be. I think he was just using him to get back into the action and then just didn't need him anymore. But, but it it kind of reminds me of Freddy versus Jason, where Freddy uses Jason to instill fear in the town to make yeah. him stronger, and yeah. then it backfires. Yeah. Corey turns out way easier to kill than Jason. Who would have thunk it? Freddy would have had a way easier Who time killing Corey. Jesus. Uh, yeah, so, like, so they have their final battle in the like, kitchen. Yeah, the fucking. Uh, I was really excited for this because yeah. I heard people say, "Oh, the entire movie is just is going to be them fighting." Most of the movie, you're just gonna you're gonna see that. This is the shortest. Lori and Michael fight, I think, in any in all yeah. of history of Lori and Michael fight. Yeah. Like the the fight in 2018 felt like the final battle. It was so underwhelming. And it wasn't even as good as the H2O fight, but there they were a little bit more youthful. I will actually say this is probably their worst fight in all ever. I guess it I, I guess it's better than the resurrection fight, because that wasn't really a fight. That was she caught him in a Looney Tunes trap and then he stabbed her in the back. But like still, like this sucked. I agree. Resurrection is way better. It's the best sequel. I'm glad you agree. That is the fun. That's the most fun thing as the biggest Halloween Resurrection fan. Mm -hmm. People being like, this movie made me appreciate Resurrection. I'm like, yes, you, actually, you, yeah. you Halloween three fans got your okay. time. Hey, 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 now hey. it's my hey, turn. Hey, hey. Now it's my turn. People see the light. They're like, ah, yes. Resurrection is an underrated. <laughs> but yeah, no, the fight is a little lackluster. It's very lackluster. And it's, mm pathetic yeah. and it's there's nothing creative there's well, nothing sure you want to put a fucking fridge on him so he doesn't get speaking like, of creative i know you're like stabbing i do i do like hand. that she pins him to the table i don't mind that but also like he also has his fingers fucking blown off like he can't yeah. just at that point he's supposed to be this super strong human person like he should be able to like figure his way out of that and that's again he's 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 alive, but he's not doing well. He doesn't. You he realize that he takes, takes the damage, it just doesn't kill him for some reason. But uh, speaking of like creative, in the previous film, they were like, Michael Myers can't be killed by brute force. Like there's something else and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh, I wonder how they're going to kill him. And then this, she just slits, slits his throat, throat and then his wrist. Um, I guess maybe the idea is like, she had him so like pinned and he was finally done that he was like no longer scary. And then she could kill him if she was able to get rid of the fear. Don't you think there would be so much anger? I feel as if this is supposed to be the last. I do like what she says. She's like, I ran from you. I chased you. I tried to forgive you. That was great. I've run from you. I have chased you. I have tried to contain you. And I liked her delivery of it. But the kill and that the, the lines and the kill to me did not mesh well. No. It felt... 
the lines were not valued mm. and seen strong enough with that kind of a pathetic I wonder kill. There if, didn't seem anger before that. Yeah. So that line, I feel like, dropped. I wonder if there was like an alternate. There's like a still. I would love it. There there's like a still of like Allison's hand on Lori's throat and a scene that comes afterwards that didn't make it into the movie. So Michael chokes her and then she gets all these flashes. Yes. This there's a lot of flashbacks. Yeah, uh, well, not as bad as the last movie where it was flashback the movie. It but was flashback the movie. But, but this one had uh, a lot. and it was through all like yeah. the very very far, which was nice. Yeah, but I think like it was implied that maybe the darkness is going into her, and maybe I, maybe there was like a darker ending where she did die, but they obviously didn't commit to that. To be honest, I kind of was expecting her to. Or maybe also they die. wanted you to think it was going to happen, but then Allison came in and stopped. I think it. that's what. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Because one of her memories is Allison saving her in 2018, and then Allison comes in and breaks his arm. They cut his veins and they let I him like bleed the, out. But what do you think of when she actually took off the mask and you actually saw more of his face? Were you? I was. I was fine with that because th if this is the end, he should look weak. He looked massive, weak, and massively old, and I was like, "Oh, you really just made him because, this superhuman yeah. thing." And then you're looking at it, you're like, "Well, it, like, it just felt so." If we're led to believe that his his like power and rage is fueled by people's fear, I guess like her finally because she was still afraid in 2018. She was prepared and everything. But she was fear, and she's like, I'm finally done. I don't have any fear of you anymore, and I'm going to stop you. Uh, I guess that was the idea. Uh, but Frank shows up, the police show up, and they're like, he's dead. And Allison's like, not enough. And then my mind went, when's that shredder being? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Because when the kids were at the fucking junkyard, I'm like, all right, which one of these assholes getting thrown into the shredder? Yeah, I was waiting for that, too. And I was like, what the fuck? No shredder? That's bullshit. Ah, oh, it's like there was a Saw movie where uh, the killer mentioned piranha at one point, and I'm like, well, obviously someone's gonna eat by piranhas. Eat Never by happened. Piranha? That's, that's Never sad. happened. That's sad. That was bullshit. Uh, but yeah, so so the oh, entire God. police force in Haddonfield will probably be investigated by Eternal Affairs uh, and yeah, all lose right? their jobs, and everyone who is there at this midnight lynch mob How did will be an know? accessory to well, on the did internet. The Facebook local groups. Uh, everyone in that fucking town is old as fuck, and I don't think any of them. That's right. They are still listening to a radio station exactly. that uses records, so who knows? And no one's talking. The on internet the radio. works. Cell phones exist. The internet works. Sure, but no one's talking on that fucking DJ. Like the DJ's gone. Well, they can't, yeah, it's on fire. Are they, did they just stop attending to that and all of a sudden tend to this? Because they happened very close together. Oh, I wish I could have went to the Michael Myers thing, but you, yeah, fucker has to deal with the fucking cut out tongue. Yeah, DJ. Um. But everyone's there and everyone's just walking slowly. Everyone they they put him, the they put him the on the roof of the car. <laughs> you're scared of him. Like, you're still nervous about him, like, coming back. Like, you have to make <laughs> sure he's dead. I was kind of hoping he would get up off the top of the car. <laughs> I thought of him as a fucking Christmas tree. Well, I did, like, when she stabbed him in the heart of the thing, he did get up. And then she had to pin him again. Yeah. Um. But he was like a fucking Christmas tree on top of a fucking car. All of a sudden, it's like National Crampoon's fucking Christmas vacation. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm remembering, uh an episode of Trailer Park Boys where they think they kill uh, Sam and they wrap him up in a in a rug and put him on the car, but they don't tie it. So as they're driving, you just see the rug fall off. And then it turns out he is alive and that wakes him up. That's kind of funny. But anyway, they take him to the junkyard. With the entire parade of people. And you know that means they had to like brush over the corpses at the front gate. Um, yeah, what about those? That's the thing. Yeah. Did they get to the fucking junkyard and they then see the fucking dead people and they didn't question that i don't know but uh they they they, they fire up the shredder and Lori kicks him in and so i was kind of hoping she would fall <laughs> again it's not as satisfying as an ending as it 2018 not i satisfying. thought that was a really good ending i like it that. was it was interesting seeing the body get like shredded well that was the that. thing that's the thing so in 2018 i like that Lori had her moment where she overcame michael but even Michael, even though he realized he was defeated, I like that he just stared at her and didn't give her anything. Like he didn't, he just stared at her like, okay. Like I he didn't, like, he, him as like she probably wanted to hear him scream and stuff. And he's like, I'm not going to give you satisfaction. And then they show that the basement's empty as kind of like a maybe, because obviously they were going to do sequels. Yeah. But that could just be an ambiguous ending, much like the first Halloween. Sure. Like he gets away again. Maybe he died, but you don't know. Yeah. But I appreciate that for this. They're like, we can't do that again. Because yeah. we're saying this is the ending. It is the ending of the story. We can't do up. Maybe he's still out there. So they're like, yeah, show that body get fucking grounded up and shredded. 
I get it. I get why they did it. It's it, not as strong as their previous ending. It definitely wasn't no. strong. And with everyone standing, I get the point of everyone standing around her because the whole town was affected and they all get to have a happy and ending. And you see like some of the survivors, like the kid from the, the and you, 2018. And you see the neighbor in the wheelchair. I would have, wouldn't it have been great, even though they're not in continuity, but they cut to like Daniel Harris and <laughs> as much as great. I don't like Rob Zombie's Halloween, Scout Taylor Compton. Did sure. you see they all took pictures together on the red carpet? No. Daniel Harris, Jamie Lee Curtis, Scout Taylor Compton, and then uh, fucking uh, Nancy and Tina from Nightmare on Elm Street. I'm really? blanking on the real names for some reason. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, they all I took a picture that. together. That's actually kind of cool. They were like, oh, wow, uh, Daniel Harris finally met Jamie Lee Co Curtis, her mother. <laughs> that was the first time they met? I think so. Well, she's on record saying she never met her. I don't know if they've met since then, but. Oh, shit. Um, but yeah, it would have been cool to see like Characters from other Halloween films just there because even they could just be townspeople, but if like you're a fan, it'd be cool. No, and of course, what I'm getting at is we definitely needed to see Buster Rhymes there with Tyra Banks. Obviously. So that fans of Resurrection, my Resurrection Bros. Uh, is that is that what you my? <laughs> I thought of another name for Resurrection fans, but it's not YouTube safe. Please. Uh, <laughs> Please don't. Whatever that is, just don't do it. I'm not going to. Please don't. I'm not going to. Mm -mm. Uh, but yeah, Buster Rhyme should have been there. Should've if this been. were me, the movie would have ended with Jamie Lee Curtis being like, I know I can't stop you, but he can. And then Buster Rhymes kicks down the door. He's like, trick or treat, motherfucker, I'm back. And they were like, what do you mean back? He's like, I'm from another reality. You ready for some danger entertainment? I mean, multiverses are a thing like now. Yeah. It's fucking hot. Bring it on. Yeah, bring Michael. On multiverse. Michael oh, be like, I wasn't prepared for Buster Rhymes. Ah. That would have been great. <laughs> the multiverse of Halloween. Totally loving this idea. Oh, uh, it'll probably happen. Um, oh, don't say that. But yeah, he's finally dead. Allison moves out of town. Um, and uh, Lori decides, hey, Frank, maybe we will go to Japan together, which I thought was cute. And she, fin she finishes her memoirs. She's like, I say goodbye to my boogeyman. Evil is never truly dead. It just takes another shape. I don't like the sequence of how it ended. What, with her house? Yeah. No, I like it parallels the first one. Only this time there's no breathing because Michael is gone. I know. Even though his mask is. So and now she's leaving his mask out in the sun. That mask is that mask isn't lasting another year. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. That mask is not lasting another year. Nope. <laughs> but it just felt very. I was like, okay, the movie's done. And then they kept going. And I was like, oh, like she made sure, like they made sure she had the, she did finish the memoir. Great. It's done. Then she goes outside, talks to Frank. And then of course she has the last lines. And mm -hmm. it was nice, nice, nice last lines. And then it still felt like, yeah, going through the house, but it felt like it still dragged. It just didn't mm -hmm. feel no, I, like a, like the button. I it knew what they like were the doing. Well, I like that. I knew what they were doing, but it didn't feel like a satisfied button ending. No. I did like that it ends with Don't Fear the Reaper. One, because that's a song playing in the original. Yes. Two, she no longer fears her reaper. Yeah. Like, and it's like a positive thing. Because again, if this it, is an it was ending, a very positive like you couldn't ending, just play the Halloween theme there because it's like, no, we need to know that this is finally done. Um, But yeah. But it didn't feel, now the, the entire movie didn't feel that way. So what you're saying is this was, this was not a satisfying conclusion to this trilogy? Yes. That, that is exactly how I feel. I feel... I don't mind the movie itself. I no. don't. I think it's an interesting take, you know, of a second Michael Myers. And um, it's, but his interaction, Corey's interaction with Michael, I don't like. Yeah. It just, it seemed very odd with the type of killer Michael is and has mm. been. It Michael did, this was a horrible movie for Michael Myers. I feel like he was too weak. Well, yes, people are saying that. If you're a Michael Myers fan, I can see that. Me... I appreciate what it was trying to do. I, I do. I can say that. I, no, I agree this, with what it was trying to do, but I think it failed. This, for me, this, and this is perfect. I like this. Say what you will. Sure, like it has it. flaws. No, I like it. This, yeah, absolutely. one and done, like it. Yes. This, <laughs> this was definitely padding, but it was fun, goofy padding. And it was stronger, and it felt more Michael Myers. Well, it had you more Michael Myers, but like the townspeople kind of kill the movie because they're so fucking dumb. They're so dumb. But you know what? I can, yeah. I can. After watching Halloween ends, I can stomach Halloween kills more. I can see them being like, "This makes more sense now." If they were told that they had to do a trilogy, they're like, "Okay, well, let's give them the movie where it's just Michael Myers cutting a bunch of people up and going crazy." 
And then we can test out this new idea in the third film. And if it doesn't work, who cares? It's the last one. We gave them the Michael, we gave them the, the satisfying movie and then the Michael cutting up people movie. And then you're going to just disappoint them with this? Well. It, like I said, if so, this was its own movie, great. A lot Maybe of people say that. As, make this the third? I actually didn't read anything what people said because so, I've been so, okay. So I watched it on, I didn't watch any spoilers. I didn't want to watch any spoilers hmm. or anything like that. I saw a lot of people going to like the premiere and stuff. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to avoid. I was really, really busy with work anyway. So it was really easy to do. I ended up having to stay at a hotel. Uh, for work and I watched it on Peacock and then I went to work and worked really late and stuff and I was like great no excuse to see any spoilers or even what anyone has to say so this is like I truly feel as if this movie should have been a separate movie I feel that as I was watching yeah. it it could have been as just a separate like um what am I thinking of a um like an anthology perhaps no or like so you I'm want I'm thinking of it where was it um spiritual like the Friday sequel? the 13th uh, Reboot. Five? Oh yeah. This is what With it the made me feel like. Kill. Yes. yes, it made me feel like Friday the Thirteenth Five. I this is what it made me feel like, and I was like, you know what? If this is the third one, and this is what they're doing, almost like a trilogy, almost like a trilogy. Halloween Three kind of did something different. This Halloween I was going to say something different. I was going to say that would have been great. The fact that they put Halloween Three font in this. Do you think they're like, oh, people are going to hate this now, but they might grow to like this movie I'm down sorry, the I'm line? I'm not going to grow to like it later because it's not that original. It's not that. Yeah. Uh, so my yeah, issue. This is a really, yeah. really, really poor ending. So for me, I think the movie's fine. I actually, the people who are like, there's not enough Michael Myers. There's not. There should have been. I'm, I'm in the camp where I'm like, well, I got the movie I wanted, and I got the schlocky movie. I wish it went crazier. I would have been fine if Michael wasn't in this, and they actually committed to the copycat thing because they teased it in four, both versions of six. But try to, it, but as a copycat, as the end. Well, because the idea could be like, oh, Michael Myers has now transcended his physical body and he's inspired a whole new generation of evil. And it's going to keep continuing. Or, or whatever force made Michael do what he did is now going into other people. So it's like, and it could play into the whole idea that evil takes shape. It takes another shape. But because of this fucking movie right. uh, and Friday 13th Part 5, which, by the way, that's not the reason. The, the fact that it was a copycat is not the reason that movie's bad. I like that movie. No, actually, I'd actually, I, I really like that movie, I but like, if we had to it. like be like, here's what's wrong with the movie. Copycat is the copycat's not the thing that's wrong with this. The copycat's movie. motives suck. But anyway, it's, um, the copycat is not the problem with this movie. It's the fact that it's Halloween ends and it should have been a strong like this. This no. is an entire franchise, no. the entire franchise. And you are ending it right here. It should have been fucking stronger. The kills should have been stronger mm. for Michael instead of him being a fucking I, killer. Honestly, or have it as Michael you know, is kind of weak or whatever, but have the movie more based on that. And then maybe at the end, show something kind of fucked up to where you see Michael isn't just a physical person, but it is more of a, um, which a, was going to be Halloween four at one point. Hmm. Have would, you ever, would, have you heard of this? No. So a writer was working with John Carpenter for Halloween four. They were told to bring Michael Myers back, obviously. Uh, and they had an idea with like uh, my, after Halloween two, the town has banned Halloween, and they've su they've tried to suppress the memory of Michael Myers, and he comes back as this like cerebral, almost like a ghost. Okay. Like they're, they're them trying to suppress the knowledge of him, like gives him more life. Sure. Uh, and there's going to be a horror movie marathon at a drive-in, and like he was going to kill people there. There are going to be things oh. where he like emerges from. So he becomes like this spirit of Halloween that takes vengeance I on the like town. That. Yeah, but but after Halloween three, Mus Mustafa Akkad was like, "No, he's a fucking guy. Just make him a guy and bring him back." So they threw the script out, and but that's, that that's been when cool to see that here. That's when John Carpenter and Deborah Hill sold off their rights to Halloween. I mean, they still get it residuals, been but cool though if they had that Michael, you know, kind of weak, whatever. There's a I would love. I wish this would. What I would have loved yeah. is. Halloween ends, it may be a little bit of the romance, whatever, trauma, blah, 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 whatever. I feel like this should have been a much stronger, more of a Lori and a Michael fight and a stronger mm. ending. And then it goes into, I would love that to see the mm. a drive in, especially because Darcy's in it. Yeah. And that would be cool to see a horror movie, but then you see other people in the Michael Myers masks. Yeah. And still the thing is, great, the trauma has passed, but does it ever really leave no. you? And there was a cool theory, like uh, the, the in the first Halloween, the the guy at the cemetery is telling the story of a dude who killed his family mm -hmm. that happened years ago, and it's like the I, I always was just like 
was the same evil force g- going to him and then went to Michael? I don't like the evil force idea. I'm just saying, like, like because d- it's not. It's you're fully seeing that it's not supernatural. It's not a supernatural hmm. thing. No. Well, it's there's clearly- limits to it, but I think he it kills and ends. I think he is supernatural, but with limits. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Great. So it kills and like no. It now would ends, you? No, it ends. He has nothing supernatural in him. Nothing at all. Not oh. a single. Oh, well, he was able it. to survive all of those wounds with no actual but, proper medical attention. Great, but now all of a sudden he's a. He doesn't fuck. have he's harm. Having, I'm sorry, supernatural. You should be able to win a bro, drunken bro fight. <laughs> he's also an elderly man. I can man. win a fucking drunken bro fight. But well, yeah, he, but he's able. Okay, yeah. an elderly man is able to kill a female like that. That that does take strength. Yeah. To be able to put a mm. knife through a human body strong enough to keep him pinned up. Mm. And to be able to choke, if you're able to choke someone with one hand, yeah, and that's a lot of strength. a lot of knives aren't longer strong enough to pin people to the wall. I do know that. I do know that. Yes, yes. <laughs> but yes. would you have preferred? And I think maybe this is what they wanted to do. Hmm. This is the ending of Michael Myers, and then the one after that was a copycat inspired by Michael Myers. Blah blah blah. So they have to now f- fight this idea of Michael and this inspiration that he's gone into people and whatnot. Like, do you think, I think that would have been more digestible because then people would be like, all right, well, we had our end of Michael Myers. This is fine. But instead they brought actual Michael Myers back and had him chop up a lot of bodies. I don't think so that should have been. So people expected that for the next one. I don't know. I don't think a copycat would have satisfied the Halloween ends franchise almost. Well, it should, I don't have, know it should have been just I don't even know if this is really the end of the franchise. Oh, no. No, even Jason Blum's like, no, this is the end of Blumhouse's Halloween. They're going to do more. Sure, but it's not no. the series. This this trilogy, the ending of this specific trilogy with... Halloween Begins Again. With Jamie Lee Curtis? No. Exactly. You're ending what ever happened iconic... to Mike? Whatever happened to Michael Myers' family? Where, where did Mike or Miles come from? Other than your speech impediment. Where did he come from? <laughs> I want to know that but, that's that's how you do the schlocky sequel. It's like, <laughs> oh, I'm in from a different town, and I just found out that my 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 mom is real sad about this Michael Myers news. It turns out she's the great granddaughter yes. of of Michael's sister after yes. whatever, and we're related to the Myers. And am I gonna be Michael? Something like that. Sure, that would be. Super that's how. I mean, schlocky. that's like the schlocky way to yeah. do it. But I would have been fine if it was just like. I think I should have been too. Someone things. like yeah. tried to be like Mike, as or even the like end, as the end though, mm. with Jamie Lee Curtis. I think that's the biggest thing. It's yeah. Jamie Lee Curtis. You want her to Lori see that? That's the thing. That's Michael. the thing. They couldn't commit to either do going all in on the copycat evil take shape, or Laurie fighting Michael again. They tried to do both. You could have done both, but the kinda Laurie like, and Michael is a stronger <laughs> thing because you're taking it kind of like from this uh, entire thing. Kind of like that you uh, want to finish your trilogy. You started with established characters, but then you got to bring back the boomer characters and also introduce brand new characters pretty late. Kind of like that. Yeah, kind of like that. Kind of like that. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, I don't like these new characters. Sure, the daughter I'm mm. fine with, or the granddaughter, sorry. The granddaughter I'm fine with, but like the relate, like stop. Look, as far as stop. Halloween sequels go, I think it's fine. I So by, uh, we're recording this on the 16th. This is Sunday, the 16th. Okay. We've been talking about this for Are a while. Are we already halfway through October? Yes. Uh, by I the way, like by this. the way, we're going to be at Monster Mania in November. Check out that. I hope I can be. Check, or some of us will be at Monster Mania. I really Mania. hope I can. I'm trying. I have That's work okay. That's that okay. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But, um, oh yeah. So I haven't watched it. I've only watched two reviews. Jimmy Champagne's non-spoiler review. Uh-huh. And then I saw a video of like a guy in his car crying because he was mad at how bad the movie was and he regretted buying a Halloween shirt. He's just like, I like it, a little older than me. Just like on the verge, not crying, but like on the verge of tears. Like I should have stayed home and watched <gasps> it on Peacock. Like really upset. And I'm like, guys, there's it's probably that people bad. that are going to, yeah, there's probably it's people really that are going to be that mad bad. that, because everyone's like, it's the worst. It's the worst. It's the I worst. Would- I wouldn't. I think it's the worst ending. Like I said, like I'm gonna say it like a gazillion times. Not the worst Halloween. But it's not the worst slasher I've seen this year. The new Texas Definitely Chainsaw not. is way worse. Um, I didn't actually say it. Not the best slasher. I really There's liked. A couple like I really liked movies, X. Like, X was really good. I didn't see Pearl, but I really liked X. I want to, but I didn't see. I, yeah, I didn't see Pearl or uh, yeah. that. Yeah, X, X is yeah. really good. I want. I'm thinking about. But guys, guys, if you're wondering why I'm not upset and freaking out, 
I'm not going to get upset over the 13th Halloween film. Like, like guys, I mean, a lot of them are bad and the Rob Zombie ones broke me. And I was I was young enough where I cared. If I watched those movies at the age I am now, I wouldn't care. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm not going to. Also, after, like, I watched um, Hellraiser. Yeah. Hellraiser before this. And mm. I was so happy that there was a, I, if you guys watched last Monday's yeah. episode, it was a great remake. Yeah. And then all of a sudden... This week, <laughs> I watched this, and I'm like, God damn well, it. Well, here's the thing. If you're upset, there's so many indie movies you can watch, or newer movies. Oh, like I absolutely. Said. I'm not saying I'm mad at the horror genre. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say. Am, I am mad But people at really the... go all in on this. No, it's like, you no, have no, options no. now. I think it's just because, for me personally, Laurie is just such a strong, and Yeah, she is the iconic final girl to me. Yeah. She absolutely is. And to see a final girl go through all of this, and then to end, I feel so, you know, such a weak... It's, way mm -hmm. it wasn't like as weak for her per se but i think the killer was so weak it wasn't as strong of an ending as it should have been it wasn't as powerful and as mm. um satisfying as i yeah. feel like it should have it's been. not as strong as the h2o ending and it's not as strong as the 2018 ending I, I, yeah i actually will say that like yeah. like it's not I those endings were way more satisfying. I do like that they shredded up his body just to just to not sequel bait it. But then but, then continue it with maybe maybe bring half of that half the movie shouldn't even have been there in the first place. Like fucking cut that romantic shit out. They um, could have started if the Corey thing started earlier, I think people would have I would have been fine with that. I think if you tweak this movie Or if he end, was directing Michael into the kills yes, instead of like Yes, yeah. I can go with that. Sure, you can tweak it a little bit. And then both of them die. Like, make him not the main, main rope. Like, you literally made him a stronger yeah. character than Michael in this movie. Have tweak it to where Michael is still the strongest character and still has that strength and a bigger fight. And then continue it with more copycats at the end. Yeah. Like, sure, his you're, he's finally done. Finally, great. That's satisfying. Bring that satisfied. But also, don't leave this with being that happy yeah. like you have where is that fear like that fear like not everyone can all well, of a sudden it, it, oh it, i'm it, satisfied I, I have everyone um oh he's dead so now i feel no uh, sadness anymore but I mean, she's still, people you are saw her like she was sad head. with allison at the table sure but i think it still fucks up people yeah. and then bring in about what trauma does to people yeah. sometimes people heal from it but what about the people that don't and yeah. it lets it fester in their body kind of like what her message well she was. didn't want to deal with it she wants to just choose happiness but what about the rest of the town all of a sudden you want to make this about the fucking town well yeah i think we should have seen more of them but the the town stuff was what really divided people on the last one by the way by the way what i was saying earlier safe first installment uh by the way, that was Halloween 4, Halloween 5. Uh, the installment that introduces weird stuff that divides fans and confuses general audiences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the incomprehensible conclusion that adds too many characters, new characters, and uh, just kind of meh. Yeah. Uh, no, I think it's I think it's fine and fun. But uh, ultimately unnecessary. I enjoyed it. I didn't hate it. I'll watch it again. I mean, as far as Halloween sequels go, it's one of the better ones considering... What would you really say would be the worst? Like, which Halloween is the worst Halloween? My, my thing is, like, Halloween 5 is the most boring. Okay. Halloween 6 is the biggest mess just because they eat both versions. I know people are like, the producer's cut's better. It's like, sure. But even the people behind the scenes are like, it's still a mess because we didn't film all the stuff we were supposed yeah. to film. It can't be as much of a behind the scenes mess as 6. And it can't be just mind-numbingly annoying like Rob Zombie's. It, it can be. I do hate the Rob Zombies, but but, like, but it, it can be a safe just Michael slashing people again, or a goofy Michael's on a reality show. <laughs> I will not apologize, but like H two O is like a satisfying but sequel. It's, it's H2 fine. Two is okay. And I'm entertained. Let yeah. me be like I'm watching these movies to be entertained, mm -hmm. and I just this one I wasn't. I purely was not entertained. I was fine with it. I went in with a certain expectation. I, I, I if it, if I didn't have the expectation of it. I think I would have enjoyed it more, but I yeah. had the expectation of a I something more. Yeah, I enjoyed that it was basically a singular vision. Uh the one director for all three films, the same team behind most of it. Uh so they they really tried something. They went for it. They clearly put all their strongest efforts into the first one, but they gave it a go. 
Uh, because like there's other trilogy, recent trilogies that don't have a singular voice because it's thrown to a bit different directors sure. and stuff, which sometimes works. Uh, but yeah, uh, it was okay. It was okay. I enjoyed it. And uh, you know what? I love it because our channel got a big boost. When I started doing Halloween videos, because yeah. people were excited for this movie, so it's my favorite Halloween sequel oh, because yeah. it helped us financially. Fuck yeah! And it got me in a Jamie Lee Curtis video. Oh my goodness! Wow, that went on for a while. This is like our longest episode we've done in a while. Yeah, we haven't done that many, but there's a lot to say about this. And I yeah, think it's, it's definitely um, it. It means a lot to me yeah. with this. You know, what means so. a lot to me. Hmm. Our fans. I love our fans. This time last year was really rough for all of us. Yeah. We're not going to say why, but you've probably figured it out. Uh, yeah, last October was really, really rough. Very stressful. I didn't even know if there would be a channel. Yeah. Uh, and this year was pretty good. Some yeah. ups and downs. But recently, this October was great. This October was really fucking awesome. Like, uh, we went down to one episode a week. Yeah. I'm in two episodes in one month. <laughs> like, back again. I went down to like one episode a week, and people thought that that was me being lazy. No, I mean, it's life also. Yeah, and it opened up the doors for more pot. We would have never been able to do that Halloween parody. And I think that was a, that was a lot of fun. I yeah. actually truly enjoyed it. And we're working on a follow-up. Uh, yeah. Not Halloween, but we're doing another follow-up because the ultimate goal is to do a feature-length film. Yes. Which is one of the reasons we did that parody. We wanted to use all our equipment and test out Just doing horror stuff. testing and see how we do. And yeah. Um, which we had a lot of fun with the horror lighting and stuff. I, I got to release the, the opening of that parody was actually a lot longer for YouTube. We had to cut it down. Oh, really? Uh, but we, because it was like a little too serious, the opening, because we just were having so much fun with the POV. Yeah. I got to put that on Patreon. I got to do more Patreon content. Yes. Um. Can we do a little bit more ho like Halloween stuff? Well, oh, we're doing the uh, thing this weekend. I'm going to be there. I'll definitely well, on Saturday. Well, this, this comes out after that. I, I'm i sorry. Last, we were at, last, we if were you at, even made it to that one. I will be there on Saturday. Because sometimes people cancel last minute. I will, I will not cancel. I will yeah. actually be there on Saturday. Okay. I made I made that in my calendar. Yes. So we were there. Crypt Video Rentals. I'm I, sure it was It fun. was amazing and fun. <laughs> and I hope I saw people there. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I just want to thank the fans for your support. I was able to do these bonus Thursday videos. Yeah. And I've been doing YouTube shorts. So I actually ended up doing more work, but less time consuming. Because the two episodes a week were... Yeah. It was just too hard. Yeah. It was just too hard. Even it's, when we shorten the episodes, this is the except. This is probably going to be our longest episode in yeah. a while. But like, it was just me and Jess could never keep up. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad we've had this new influx of subscribers that are going That's through our awesome. back catalog. I love that. And just the people... Guys, also, what really does help is, you know, obviously, Lubs Up, sharing it, obviously, as much as possible. Mm. Also, if find the um, the podcast version. Thank you if you're listening to our yes. podcast. But one of the biggest things really is reviewing yeah. and um, make like putting a review on podcast wherever you get your podcast from wherever you listen to your podcast. Definitely leave a mm. review and rate it. That's really a big thing that kind of with the algorithm and it definitely pushes yes. it. And by, by, so definitely, by, definitely. If you guys like us and you guys want to hopefully help help us do more, that's a yeah. huge thing. No, a huge help with us is and, going and leaving a review and also leave, if you want, fucking leave a hilarious review and then screenshot it and then send it to us so we can definitely see it. Well, here's the thing. Uh, but my friend uh, Carl uh, from Who Are These Podcasts, he always says, Give us a five star rating and then shit on us in the comments. So you don't have to That's even use nice. Hilarious. You don't have you have to leave a nice comment. You can give us a five star rating and just be mean to us. Uh, but yeah, check all that out. Thank you for your continuing yes, support. Thank you guys. It means for us. It seriously means a lot. Yes, I now have to watch more TV cuts and work print cuts, and uh, <laughs> I'm so bringing true. back that video game show I used to do. Just like the movie where I take a video game oh, movie. Oh, I heard about that idea. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to get one out for October, but the, the Halloween parody took up a lot of time. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we have some fun uh, holiday theme stuff. We have some more horror reviews in November, but we have some fun holiday theme stuff coming up that you're really, really going to enjoy. And yeah. yes, I love you. Like, share, subscribe. Bye. They're playing like Felicia versus Bishamon. And if Bishamon ends with a certain move, you just cut Felicia in half. Did you make sure to see Orchid's thong? Yeah. Here's 30 more chances as she spins around. See, Come. you've got the Batgirl shirt on and you're wearing a Robin t-shirt. Batgirl and Robin to your Batman. And Turtles ha is like Star Wars in the like, Star Wars is a 70s thing that ran into the 80s. Yeah. Turtles started in the 80s, but really grew in the 90s. Yeah.
Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.